pushing the child out of their pussy, and that's typically the woman. It affects the father, that's their child. All they have to do is come. Yeah, but they have to find a woman who's willing to open their legs. And that's hard to do, because women control So sex. they should have a say in abortion because it was so hard to find a woman to come No, they should, have, they should have a say because it's their child. Okay. So, considering the only thing the man loses out of is the hypothetical child, and the one who's really going through everything, the mood swings, the hormones, the pain, um, the suffering, the pushing someone out of their fucking pussy, the possible tearing from the vagina to the anus. That was the risk. All they had to do was come. Like, that's... We said suffering. That was the risk when the woman had sex. Did the women not know that? Well, if you have contraception or birth control, uh, the likelihood of getting pregnant is incredibly low. But again, I don't see how this has to do with a man having a say. Like, I'm not saying that men should have absolutely no say. I think there are some... Thank you for the, the love paint, Glohan. I think there are some men that are sensible and actually care about what women go through. Um, in that case, I think their perspective is very useful. Um, but if you are a man who will never have to experience childbirth in your life and you think you have um, the right to decide what other women should be doing with their body when it has literally nothing to do with you. Um, I think that's gross. So do you believe a woman should be able to have an abortion at seven months with a healthy baby and nothing wrong? Yeah. See, that's, that's unaliving at its finest. Well, that's not what abortion is. If the baby can survive outside the womb, then unaliving it would be... Who said anything about unaliving it? You that's said, not what abortion means. That's what abortion means. A abortion is just a cessation of pregnancy. That doesn't necessarily mean that the baby is going to die. So when a woman that, that has... A C-section is an abortion. No, it's not. It is. So do you believe women should be able to have an abortion where the baby is unalived at seven months, even though it could survive? Well, there's no reason to unalive a baby at seven months. I, I'm pro-sentience. So if the baby is sentient, I think it would be immoral to, you know, unalive it. But you could just induce and then give birth to the child or have a well, C-section and then put it up for adoption. Are, Before are it's sentient, college? though, I don't care. Yeah, I'm in college. Where at, if you don't mind me asking? Brown. Oh, that must be nice. It's pretty chill. Yeah, I wish I could have got in there, but I'm a white male, so I... I had to work harder. The majority of the population at Brown is white and Asian. Only like 9% yeah. like of the population there is black. Yeah, they also have lower test scores. Black people? No, due to affirmative action, DEI. White Who? people get discriminated against when it comes to college. And jobs. The majority of the people in the college are white. How are they getting discriminated against? Well, it, it goes per capita. So the majority of people are white in America. Do you think only 9% of the population of America is black? Because if no, that's what you think, it's then around, it's crazy work. It's around about 13%. Okay, so then it's proportionate. So who's being discriminated against? And if brown is 9%, then you're right in that scenario. But you don't think that minorities get into college with lower test scores no it happens all the time like take harvard for example they take 400 students and they literally have those 400 students blocked off by race and sex not the best 400 test scores where at harvard no i'm saying like is there anywhere i can observe this yeah so why are we talking about affirmative yeah. action right now oh that's where the conversation went you kind of like struggled with keeping the conversation going, so I was helping you out, showing you how to be a host. Showing me how to be a host by changing the subject twice? It's not changing the subject, it's called transitions. You probably learned that in college when you write papers. Yeah, the host is about, you know, actually keeping things on topic. You changed topic twice, and we're talking about body well, count, and you brought up race and affirmative action. Yes, we transition. So your topic is very simple. Like you can bring up 10 people tonight and it's very simple. Like you have your viewpoint, I had mine, and there wasn't no progress to be made to continue the conversation. So I started to transition it.
Okay, well, if you're not going to stay on the topic of this conversation, I would rather move on to the next guest. Oh, we can, we can absolutely stay on the topic respectfully. But you just said that there was nothing left to say, so why would you remain on the topic? Well, you weren't adding anything, so I was expanding the topic. What do you mean I wasn't adding anything? I asked you how this is relevant, I explained to you why I don't think it's relevant, and then we changed well, the I subject. Well, I agree with what you're, what you're saying about changing the subject, transitioning, but yeah, body count definitely matters. I didn't say it didn't, I said it shouldn't. That's, you should that's take kind a, of what the prompt says. It says you should, should take a poll, like go around Brown University with all the smart men and ask them if they care. I bet they do. Actually, from my from my uh, experience, they don't give a fuck. But I could ask one of the well, I mean, organizations to put out. Um, if you're at a bar with a guy, he's going to say he doesn't care because if he says well, he I does go care. go to the bar. I'm just talking well, about like, yeah, the student you're population. You're only 20. I hope not. That would be illegal. Well, yeah, but like, I don't go clubbing either. That's just not really my thing. Yeah. What's your thing? Crafting. That's cool. See, that was like a little transition. We were talking about it. You brought up a different topic and I transitioned. Well, yeah, I'm not saying that. Huh? I am to disturb you once again. It's okay. You can disturb me anytime you want. <laughs> Do you know what happened to the laptop? Mm-hmm. Down here. Hold on. There you go, my okay. love. <laughs> Get that fucking lip bite out of here. My gosh. You you scared away the man. I will be in her walls. Do you promise? Walls tonight. I hope all y'all know. <laughs> I'm excited. I think I think he got scared. <laughs> I don't think he was fucking with it. I don't think he was fucking with it. Y'all, please hop in the cast request. If you think body count should matter for women but not for men. She is pretty. pretty. Hi. Hello? I just, Hi, how uh, old are you? I'm 50. Um, okay. I don't know. I don't know if you do the pronouns on yours, but respectfully, I am he, him, but uh, I do respect people's uh, requests for that. Um, oh. I just want to state briefly, just as a 50 year old perspective in America, when it comes to body count, I haven't heard it until that. I'd say maybe three years ago. But when I realized about it, when I started hearing women use this phrase, which I originally heard from men, I said this is a slippery slope because most men that are monogamous minded or goal oriented as far as marriage being the goal or long term relationship and not just, you know, for the sake of pleasure, you usually heard men usually heard in locker room sessions or, you know, male sessions. We heard other men use that term, that body count didn't matter for themselves. And most guys would say, Okay, you do you. But we knew that ultimately that guy had a lot of attachment issues, a lot of commitment issues. His uh, emotional maturity was not that high. He was not looking to commit because he's already putting out in the atmosphere his demeanor in regards to, well, you know, if I happen to get a long-term relationship, fine, but I'm not really looking for that, you know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, Ken. Yeah. Wait, are you, it doesn't sound like you're an op. No, I'm not. Oh. No, I'm no, only I'm absolutely. only looking for ops, Mesty. <clears throat> well, I'm saying it should matter, though. I am actually saying it should matter. Wait, okay, so then you would be... But do you think it should matter more for women? I do, because when I looked at what... I want to say six months ago, when they... when I, I forget what state it was, and they said 40,000 cases of HIV had been reported in a week. I said that's uh, phenomenal like astronomical. And I said, that's just one week, not the summer. That's one week. And then last week they said, I think it was Houston had 40,000 cases reported in one week. And all I kept thinking was, you have two mutual sides saying the same phrase and it's not good for anyone because I'm thinking for some of these cases, I guarantee in certain situations, it was people going clubbing or going out saying, you know, body count doesn't matter. And they smashed three people that week. 
that week. You know what I'm saying? So there, it's it's opening you up to. It's it's like saying, well, it doesn't matter, but what are you opening yourself up to by saying, I'm not really looking to be monogamous. I'm not really looking to. I don't. I'm not really goal oriented as far as marriage. I'm not looking for. I'm just looking Wait, to have but a good time. Why? But why is this more relevant for women? <clears throat> because I think I feel like this: women pick who they sleep with, men pick who they marry. So if a, if women control, I feel like women have the power to control this whole dynamic by shutting it down by saying, you know what, it does matter. Uh, I'm goal oriented. If you're not looking to really date me or marry me, uh, we don't even need to be talking right now. If women did that, not everyone, guys, guys not would everyone change. wants that though. Some people no, just want I, fuck. I understand that, but I think it's way beyond just some now because it's becoming a part of mainstream culture. And because it's part of mainstream culture, we have phenomena like 40,000 cases of HIV being reported in a week. I think there's a correlation between what's socially acceptable and what's happening as far as people's as if, I'm saying it just at a level of cost. source for the 40,000 cases of HIV? You're, you're mm-hmm. muted. It's insane. I, it is insane, but I'm just saying that there's a correlation between saying so one aspect doesn't matter, but there's a whole there's a whole aspect of the cause and effect of that. There's potential birth, you know, potential pregnancy it, being a part of that factored in. That's not what the person's looking for. This but when you say it doesn't matter, look at everything else that could potentially happen when you when a male man or a woman says it doesn't matter, it does matter Guys, I know. because I because you're going to have to deal with the consequences of the decision. This just because you say something doesn't matter doesn't mean it ultimately doesn't matter. Because if a woman says that she is a, you know, pregnant the next day, now she's making the fun. She sure. has other decisions to make after that. Should she keep the child? Sure. Should she take care of plan B? You know, sir, sir. Yes. I'm not saying it doesn't matter. That is not what the prompt says. I want you to reread that sentence one more time. You say it shouldn't matter, and I'm saying yes, it yeah. should. It should. Right. Why, what does this have to do with body count more for the woman? Because men can also catch STDs, but often if we're, <clears throat> we're going to talk about pregnancy, women can't get pregnant without the man. Well, again, so I'm saying it matters more. the one spreading the seed around, it would matters it not more matter more for the man? Men started this phrase not women women adopted it to counter men by saying what's good for the goose is good for the gander men did this first i know that's why i said it was a it was a locker room conversation and everybody knew those guys but every man was not aspiring to be that guy but now you have a large influence of women saying wow it's my body it's my choice it's my empowerment i'm going to take my empowerment back and this is what i'm going to choose to do for myself but it's it's not something that was always a dynamic that women had that's why I say it should matter because if more women shut this down, this thinking down, men would change. But all they're giving men is more easier access to what they wanted anyway. That's really what it comes down to. But women also want to have sex. Like, what do you mean access to? Access to their vagina? Well, if they're not looking for a relationship, they're not looking for marriage, it's not the goal, and they're just looking for a good time, that's really what it's saying. Fundamentally, yeah, saying I that? don't want it because it, ultimately, on the social level, there's consequences to every to every action. There's a a reaction, and because okay. it, just because you can do something, ultimately, on a social level, should it be done? I don't feel that women, because of the maybe maybe I'm putting women on too high of a pedestal. I don't feel that women, on a social level, at the extent that it is now, should even be feeling this way in our society. It's a social issue. It's a Western phenomenon. It's not a global phenomenon. In other, you go to Romania or you or Ukraine or other countries. Women by are trying to get married by twenty five. That's their goal. They're goal oriented. They're trying to get married, and they don't look at it as like, oh, I'm trying to be controlled, dominated, have a man dominate me. They're looking at marriage is ultimately the goal. I want to have a family. I want to have a strong family unit. And we, I want my ride or die. I want my Women are allowed to want to have a family, but before they have their family, they can, they can have fun. I don't know why we're acting like it has to be one or the other. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's a Western phenomenon to be this to extreme. To want sex? To be this extreme about it. 
What's extreme about no, saying you want to be able to have the sex? Because anymore? I guarantee there are women out there that have had triple digits and don't care. There are women that are probably at 50 and don't care. There are women that, you know what I'm and saying? There is no, because, okay, I'm just, we can agree to disagree. I just wanted to add my, my two cents to it. I do have to drop down. I am at work, but I just wanted to add my perspective. As Like I said, as a 50 year old man, this is not something I've heard all my life. I've only heard it recently. And I'm looking at the repercussions on a social level of what we all have to deal with based on people's decisions. Thank you, though. Thank you very much. Okay. That's short. Y'all, please hop in the guest quest if you think body count should matter for women, but not for men. Hey, also, what's opposition up? only. Hi, how old hey, are you? I'm 32. Okay. Yeah. It, it does matter more for women. Should. I, I feel like it does. Should. Yes. I just want to make sure that we have should as the word. Yeah, it should. It should. Okay. Okay. Why? The reason why is because it is so easy. You don't even have to be pretty. Like, like yourself, you don't even have to be pretty. It's so easy for women to just indulge in such manners. You feel me? So... It, it, too much of anything it will always be bad for thank you thank you for the per perfect amanda sorry okay. y'all that's my that's my sugar mommy i love her Ooh, okay but like i said it's it's so easy you feel me like, oh wait i just want to make sure was because people in the in the comments are wondering was i basically just called ugly or was it the opposite i can't tell what do you mean you said you don't even have to be pretty like yourself. No, no, no. I can't no, no, tell no. if that means you're calling me pretty or if you're calling me ugly as fuck. No, fit. no, you're, you're pretty, you're pretty. But I'm saying you don't oh. have to be pretty unlike yourself. You feel me? Oh, like, okay. Yeah. Thank you. You know, you, you, you don't even have to be pretty. These dudes would just, they would just, they'll, they'll put it in a rattlesnake if it'll hold his, his mouth open. You feel me? You cannot out -hoe a female. I don't care who you are. I mean, for a dude to be able to get that much sex, he would have to have millions of dollars. He would have to be that guy blessed with genetics. A woman, it don't even matter how you look. She can just go out there and be like, hey, everybody, just fuck me real quick. And they will. It's so easy on a common level. Why do you think we have incels? People that are involuntary celibate. They, they're not choosing to be celibate. They're involuntary celibate. How, why do you think that happens? It's because they are men. Maybe because their personalities are shit. No, no, no. Maybe because their genetics are shit too, as well. Because no, they're not that, desirable. That's, that's incel rhetoric. You're literally spouting incel rhetoric as no, we speak. Well, I'm, I'm saying if you're ugly, how are you going to, unless you're a woman, because, you know, anybody's going to Have you seen snack. the amount of hideous men that are with beautiful women? No, that's not true. That's not that true. Is very it's a true. small, it's a small percentage, and you know that it that rarely happens. That rarely. Do you have happens. a stat for that? Like, I don't know why we're acting you like you have, have a stat to look for that. Like... I'm going off of what I see. You rarely see that. Yeah, same. Ugly dude. Maybe I if they people... known each other when they were younger, maybe. Uh, I don't but know you don't why see we're it every, acting like men time. have to be Elon Musk. Well, actually, no, Elon Musk is hideous. He just happens happens to have a lot of money. I don't know why exactly. we're acting there like you go, right there. people have to hmm, look like. I'm trying to think of an attractive man in pop culture. So who? You, okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you cook real quick. Wow, drawing blanks. Yeah, you can't even think of nothing because it's it's bull crap, and you know that. No, it I'm trying to so I'm trying to think of an attractive man. That's that's what I'm trying to think of. I, I can't. No, no, no one's coming to mind. Nobody's coming to mind when it comes to attract, uh, uh, an attractive man, is what you're uh, saying. I'm trying so hard right now, man. I'm trying okay. so hard. Um, uh, you can't think of nobody? I'll say, I'll say, yeah, I was going to say, My Michael B. Jordan, he's I. Right. Okay, he, well, there you go. He's a little go. bit too muscular that, that, for my liking, but. Okay, but there you go right there. Michael B. Jordan, right there. Uh-huh. Matt Rife, get the be, fuck out of my comments. You better take that shit back. It, it anyway. would be easier for him to, you know, get physical with a woman versus an average man. So are you saying that an average man versus an average woman, who you think would be able to be physical with the opposite sex more? They both can. Yeah, yeah, come on now. Come on. 
Not, Are you not, saying like men pursue more? Because I can agree that men pursue more, but I'm wondering why this is relevant to the conversation. Like, okay. Because I'm telling you right now, hold, hold on one, one moment, one more. What I'm telling you is that Ooh, women- You're right, ASAP oh, Rocky fine as hell. Damn. What, what I'm telling you is women don't have to put in the work. They, they can just, all they have to do is sit there and look pretty, that's it. They don't have to do nothing. Men on the other hand, have to put down game to, you know what I'm saying, lead to something. Women don't have to do that. They just have to exist. That's it. So it's easier for them. They don't have yes, to have no I, You already made that point. I'm asking why this is relevant to why body count should matter. Are you just saying that we should stigmatize people for doing things that are easy? No, no. Well, hold on, hold on. Because you have to be healthy. Be, sleeping around with a Thank bunch of people is not healthy. Sleep around, okay, around that can be said for home. men and women. So I don't know why we're putting this on women that, specifically. That, is, that, 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 that can be true. But for women, when it comes to being physical, it has a much deeper impact on them. Men don't According really, to what? Uh, uh, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me cook real quick. Let me cook real quick. Oh, no. Uh, listen, listen to me. Listen to me, girl. Listen, listen, oh, listen. Oh, my God. Oh. This is what I'm telling you. You know this. Don't even try to. Don't even try to refute it. You know this. That it's not men, that. I, well, obviously, I, I I'm going to refute it. It's just I already know exactly what you're going to say. But but please. Well, go tell on. me what I'm going to say. I'm going to go ahead and, and 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 go ahead and save you the time. Go ahead and tell me. Okay, you're going to say that the impact of sex isn't the same for men and women. That women tend to be more emotionally invested or attached, and that men mm -hmm. are able to be detached while they have sex. Mm -hmm. This, this unoriginal mm -hmm. ass point. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not unoriginal. That is facts, and you know yeah, that. that that's a, well, it's not yeah. facts. As someone oh, with a vagina, facts. I'm okay. okay. Okay, listen. Men can sit there and sleep around and won't. And honestly, if you're going to sleep around with a bunch of uh, women, you have to be that guy first of all. Ain't no average Joe could do that. An average woman could do that. Like I said, you cannot. You cannot outhole a female. I don't care who you are. You can't. That's why I say that you don't have men can be with as many women as they want and they, they're not going to compare nothing. Women, on the other hand, they, they can't do that. They have this emotional attachment with men. I have a source for that. Well, listen, listen, I just, I'm, we're having a conversation. Yes, That's what you're I'm making an empirical claim. This it's is just going to be he said, she all. said, I'm... if you don't have anything to back it up. Yeah, it is empirical. Okay. See, now you're, you're making trying a generalized to... statement about a group of people. You're making a generalized statement about a population of people. I could say Listen, the exact opposite of what you're anything. saying and nothing will change. Okay, I don't have to give you anything because you know what I'm saying is true. You know that for a fact. You, you've had, well, you've no. been physical with men, haven't you? Yeah. And is there that one guy that you think about or are you just like, well, I'm on the girls team? Well, what do you mean I'm on the girls team? No, I well, like no, no. Is there that one guy that you think about like, oh, my God, this guy really, you know what I'm saying? Like he he done knocked it off type type stuff. You feel well, me? Yeah, but it wasn't because of sex. Okay, bam, there you go. Right there. Emotional attachment. You proved my point. It, it wasn't because of sex. Right there. It, it was purely romantic. It doesn't matter. It's not, it's not just about that. It's, it's not just yes, about it, that. that. That is exactly what That's this is emotional. about. It's about That's body emotional. count. It, it, listen, it nobody should be going around with sleeping around with a bunch of people, period. Dude, we, That's we, just didn't, me. we didn't fuck. But with women, it's different. Sir, we, we didn't fuck. Well, the person that you, that's on your mind, you did not, you did we not get We didn't fuck. The person that's on your mind. I was very romantically attracted to him. We didn't okay. fuck. Okay, okay. Like I said, it is much easier for a woman to get physical with men than it is for a man to, on, on, I'm on, asking on, you on, why on this is level, relevant. The reason why it's relevant is because that's that you should not be doing that. That's what I'm saying. Okay, As but why? Woman, like the you're reason, just saying you shouldn't. You're not telling me why. If your point why. is because women get more emotional, that is not true. Okay, you want you want to know give me a why? source for that. You, know, you want to know the reason why? Spiritual debris. Do you know what a spiritual debris is? Oh, I don't believe in spirituality. I don't care. Oh, okay. So you don't know what you don't know what spiritual debris are. It, 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 I know and what it's spiritual not even, debris are. I just don't believe in spirituality. Honest. It's not even spiritual to be honest. This act. This is actually real. Real stuff. When you become one with someone, you take you you take some of their energy. This is all energy because that's all we're made of is energy. You take some of their energy. Yes, you're taking energy within yourself and you know that. So this is not what even spiritual. This is actually you energy. About? You don't know what you listen. That's what I'm telling you. 
You what the listen, fuck? For a talking. woman, she should not be sleeping around with a bunch of men. It does matter, and you know that. I said should. She shouldn't. Do you agree with that? I think a woman should be allowed to sleep with whoever she wants as long as it's safe and consensual. I don't. I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't agree I've with gathered. that. I've gathered. But I'm saying I don't agree with that because all of us should have restraint. All of us. It's not just for women, but when a man is different. The fuck are we restraining ourselves for? If it's safe and consensual, you, you find somebody okay, pretty. So then you're fuck saying them. we should just eat a bunch of sugar? That that's the same stuff. You eating a well, bunch no, of sugar? Yeah. Eating a bunch of it's sugar cheaper, threatens your health. Cheap stuff. Yeah, and and you're not sleeping around with a bunch of people is not healthy as well. Well, it depends on, on what you mean by a bunch. Come on, man. Wait, what are you saying? Like five, sleeping, five bodies? If you're, if you're, if you're sleeping with like a really large amount of people in a very short amount of time, like a really short amount of time, let's, let's say like, like 50 people in a week or something, then that yeah. can be indicative of some kind of mental health issue, in which case, and, and that's then something you only probably a woman go to therapy. That's something that's, only a woman can do. That's no man can sleep not with true. 50 women Dude, in one have week. You, have you met porn stars? Dude. You listen what you just said. You said porn stars. I'm talking about common people. I'm talking about just what? common I don't, people. I don't know a single. You can sleep woman with fifty who's... people in one week if you wanted to, can't you? Probably. Yeah, exactly. So stop it. I couldn't. Well, no yeah, other man I... could. Okay, unless you got that, that's... millions of dollars. Dude. Exactly. There you go. I just think I just think I'm hot. Like no, so I could no, I could probably no, fuck no, people. No, I could probably no, fuck no, fifty people. If no. I was a dude and I was as pretty if as I am dude, right now as a dude. You would kill yourself. No, wow. Wow. And that's, I would say that I would say that with a hundred percent confidence. That's wow. I that's would. Over sex? I, I, I would. No, not over sex. Not over sex. You, you, you would. As as harsh as it is, you would, bro. Oh over over sex? No, nope, not over sex. Then what are you not talking sex. about? Not over sex, bro. All I'm saying is it does matter. That's what I gotta say. Sir. Should yeah, it should. I don't think I don't think you're answering the same question that I'm asking. Yeah, I, I just answered it. You you answered it for me. I said I was hot and sexy, so I could fuck people. Yeah, but you, you're a woman, so it's easy. You don't have to put out no game. You don't have. You could be living at your mom's crib. You cannot have a car, or whatever. People are still going to accept are you, you saying, who you are. Are you saying people that don't have a car don't get dick? I mean, don't don't get pussy? No, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is there's not high expectations for you. We men don't sit there and be like, oh, she has to have this. She has to have that. Only thing yes, that yes, they do. No, 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 they, they don't. They absolutely no, they don't. do. No, they don't. They, they you can. She has you can to be, have a fat ass. She has to have big titties. That's she has different. to have a small that's, that's waist. Physical. That's she has different. to weigh a certain amount. She has to be wifey material. She has to cook for me. She has to clean for me. She has to make me feel that, confident that, and like a man. That's she has not, to be demure. Name stuff, that's not she has to be lady. You're naming stuff that's not financial right now. You're not. You're okay, naming so stuff you're, that's you're not financial. You're mad that some women want you to have money? No, I'm not mad about that. All I'm saying is that you don't have to have it for you to get physical. That's what I'm saying. I'm not projecting. I'm not feeling some type of way. You were. I'm, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm looking at the comments and stuff. I'm just telling you, I'm not mad at none of that. Cause you're saying, you're saying that I'm mad because of this, that on the third, but I'm because not. You're, I'm you're just bringing up you. stuff about like relationships. Like no one's saying that you have to be a millionaire to, to, to provide dick. But like, how is that? Why would you need to have a bunch of money to provide penis? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being able to sleep with 50 women in, in one week. You already established that you could sleep with 50 men in one week and you don't have no money. But it would take a man to have a bunch of money to sleep with 50 women in one week. If a it man would. is pretty, that's all he needs. That, that Yeah, but mm, not really, bro. Because you got to understand it. If all you're doing is fucking, because we're not talking about a relationship. If all you're doing is laying down some pipe, what the fuck do you need money for? No, what are you no, paying no, no, for? No. Condoms Listen, and lube? Because that's pretty well lube. priced. Wait, 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 lube. Why, like you, you why can you, go. What in the world? Lube? Really? Why, no. why wouldn't you? Why Why did you say lube? Like people why, use what's it? What's wrong? Or... Yes. Really? Why? Yeah. Well, some people oh. like anal. Some people oh, like no, going for a really wild. long. Some First people like to wild. go for a really long time. And sometimes it, it can be a little bit of friction. You know? Yeah, th that's that's. Some that people have really wild. big dicks, and it can be hard to put it in, so you use a little bit of lube. 
Okay, that's wild. Okay, but all I'm saying is... I'm not wrong. Uh, well, I'm, I, I don't know if you're wrong or not, but all I'm saying is... I promise you I'm not. Okay, okay, listen, listen. All I'm saying, it, it's it's harder for the man to do that. It's hard well, already. Right. She can do it. She can do it. No, no problem. You know what I'm saying? She can sleep with as many dudes as she want to. That's different. She don't even have to put down the game. We do. That's what that's what I'm saying. Well, I like my men submissive, so I put all the game down personally. But what do you what, pop what off? You I mean? guess. What do you do? You have a boyfriend? I have two. Okay, you, you, you're capping, you're capping, you're capping. I'm not, I'm polyamorous. Do they know about it or, oh, oh, yeah, really? they know about it. Yeah. Thank you for the roses, Catherine. I have you a have binary two. partner and a boyfriend. You have two boyfriends. open relationships, yes. And, and they have girlfriends as well? Well, one of them is actively pursuing a girlfriend. The other one's kind of like a, a homebody, so no. Okay, well, I don't want to get off topic, but the reason why I say this, you said um, all a man has to do is to be pretty, but you got to understand what he's going against. Like, the, women, they have a lot of options, so they can be a little picky on who they sleep with. You feel what okay. I'm saying? So it's not like, oh, we can just uh sleep with them. They, it, 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 with, uh, with men, they don't care. We just like, okay, whatever she want me to smash, I'm going to smash. Women, they're like, uh, oh, let me think. Oh, I already got this guy. Uh, I don't know type thing. Okay, Go so on. you're saying body count should matter more for women because men don't have standards. No, that's not what I'm saying. Well, that's kind of what it's giving. I'm not even saying no. I agree with you, but as an internal critique, that's kind of what this sounds like. No, the reason why I say it should matter more is because it's easier for a woman to get physical and... It, 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 it's it, it's too it's too much, okay. bro. Like, allow me to explain to, to you with. why this does not work. If we have someone who's going to work, they can either walk or they can take the bus or drive. Walking is harder than taking the bus or driving. But do you call the person who took the bus lazy for not walking? No. Uh, I feel like they still got to easy. work. I feel like walking is easier because you don't have to pay the money. You can just walk. Walking is free. So how is walking harder? I'm talking than about labor. I'm not talking about why do you keep thinking about money, dude? Well, I'm just asking. You said you asked me the question. Walking is easier than catching a bus because you have to pay to catch the bus. You have to go and wait at the bus stop and everything like that and pay money. If you don't have any money, you got to walk. It's easier for us I'm to walk talking, than to take when a I bus. say ease, I'm talking about the physical labor, not the dollar and 80 cents you have to pay to get on the bus. Yeah, but it still costs money to ride the bus. If you don't have it, what is Okay, what, what, it costs money option? to live. But I'm saying if you don't have the money to catch the bus, what is your option then? And if you, you don't have, have the, the if you don't well, have the money have to, to put what? clothes on your back, then you can't walk into work with your penis slanging. Like, what's what's your point? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you don't have the money to ride the bus, what do you have to do? The light rail, which is free. Oh, you have to walk, right? No, you can take the light rail, which is free. I don't know what a light rail is. I'm from Florida. Oh, oh. Yeah, so we have to walk. If you if you ain't got money, you gotta walk. I'm 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 sorry. That's easier. Walking is easier. I'm sorry. You gotta walk. You feel what, me? But is, okay. So let's let's just say hypothetically, for some reason, walking is easier than taking the bus. Are you gonna make fun of the person who took the bus or tell them that they're lazy for taking you know, the bus? For taking the bus, then walking to work. Yeah. I don't understand. Or actually, no, because because you think about. I'm sorry, because you think walking is is easier. Are you gonna tell the person who is walking that they suck or something for not taking the bus? I'm saying, but what? How is this relevant to what we're talking about? Because you're saying the thing that makes body count matter is ease. Yeah. So you're saying that the stigma should exist for people who do things that are easy. So I'm trying to compare the logic here. Walking is easy and the bus is not. I think it's the opposite way around, but sure. Do you think that the person who's doing the easier option should be shamed for it? I mean, if they're, 
Well, the easier, uh, but it's weird because you're the comparison. It's not the same. That's the it, point. That's what an analogy it's, it's is. I'm comparing logic. Yeah, Obviously, the it, situations are exactly the same. It, that's no, the point. but it, it, it's it's not really the same because when somebody talks about body count, they're trying to justify their own body count. Like I feel like people that talk about oh, body count doesn't matter, or people. Why do you think that's body. the case? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me finish. Let me finish, pretty girl. I'm, I'm saying that people that talk about it like oh, high body because you don't even have a body, high body count, so. I don't know why I don't know why you feel this certain type of way because I care but, about how it affects other women. OK, honestly, I'm saying it like this. I feel like the people that talk, try to go against it are the ones that have a high body count and they're trying to justify them having this high body count. So they try to spray this rhetoric like, oh, it doesn't matter. But it does matter because people shouldn't be sleeping around with anybody every tom dick and harry it, it, it shouldn't be like that yeah. yeah do you know why this is because the we reason. stigmatize people having a high body count and it ruins yeah. their mental health it makes them feel like shit for just doing what they enjoy doing well and, and they and don't they, think they that, should, that feels nice because most people with high body counts they don't have a, a successful um relationship with anybody like most people that are Again, married in, in do you have a source for this I, I, all I'm saying, hold on, let me, let me cook real quick. The people that have su successful relationships tend to be people that have lower body counts. These people with these high body counts, they're typically single. Most of the time, they're single. I would like, like a you, source, you know please. I would like so. Hey, you, you know that. You can think about your like friends that have these high body counts. They be, they, they be single. Source this shit bro. up, please. I've been asking you for a source for the last 10 minutes and you still haven't given me one. I'd really like a source. Can I please? Listen, 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 can listen. I please, I'm so, can I please? Listen, you, you, can, you can do your I own please, research. You can do your I'm own a research. You, you, you ask my opinion, I and this please, is my opinion. I have a source, please. <laughs> Give me a fucking source. I've been asking you for 10 goddamn minutes. Can I please have a source, please? Okay, 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 mama. You can please. do your own research, all right? The you do your own research. The fuck this you is, mean? Th I'm just saying, you can do your own research, what? okay? How are you going to make the claim and then tell me to do the searching for I'm you? I'm going off of what I know. That's it. I'm just going off what I know that and what I see. That. What I that's see and not, what I know. What I see and what I know. Sir, okay? anecdotes do not mean anything in a debate. All right, all right, all right. All I gotta say is I don't agree with the panel. You heard my stance. Man, I'm not gonna waste some more of your that's time. That's lame as hell. So, get so, the fuck. Get, get, get the fuck. Get, get the fuck out of here. What? I wanted a source. I wanted a source. Bro standing on absolutely nothing. Oh, this person did not join. Also, y'all, Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal are in the bio. Also, follow me if you fuck with me. And give me money if you fuck with me. I do follow you already. Or don't. Oh, yeah, you do. I do yeah, I, you said you wanted to argue. Aren't, aren't you a friendly? I'm not a friendly. I said no. I said it, it should matter yesterday. And I, I still think I it should matter. I this. My shit hasn't changed. But anyways, yeah, I think it should matter because How it's you? just like 27. I dead ass do not remember having this conversation. You know what? Okay, go, go on. Anyways, I feel like it should matter because it just doesn't look right having plenty of body counts. And then plus he even asked you if you had a high body count and you said, no, you just, you just standing up for women that, that do. So, yeah. Yeah. But like, like he said before, like porn stars, bro, what makes you think that porn stars have a good fucking like relationship with people, bro? That shit isn't, it's, it's, it's not, it's not healthy. I didn't say they did. He just said that men can't have sex with 50 people in a week. And I said, no, that's not true. I had nothing to do with relationships. No, he's just giving you something like, 
he's, he's he's talking about like realistically like realistically a guy even with money and shit like that like it would be challenging for him to have sex with more than 10 people in a week bro that's just it's too much well i mean if you have a good job you probably don't have the time to fuck 50 people but i'm sure if they wanted to they could but again why would someone need to have money to have sex with people like what is the money gonna do if you're just laying the pipe down like what are you paying for what, what, like what is there to pay before, for? Women kind of control the sex. Like we make, we make the proposal. It's up to you to accept it. So I mean, some women okay. accept it if the person has. Okay. Money. Some women accept it if a person, you know, is muscular, is tall, you know, which is fine. Women can have their preference, but you know, it's just like the average guy is not going to be able to, to really have sex like that, as opposed to a woman. Why do you believe this? This is so odd. It's the, truth. it's the truth it's the truth according to what and who it's just the truth if every uh, guy that you come up here like says the same thing what makes you think that if you had a panel of 100 people you said what is that is well there are two things one i don't think that's demonstrable that like average looking men don't fuck like i i would love to see research saying that average looking men don't fuck but number two if the topic is about body count a lot of people who come up to debate body count have resentment toward women or the dating pool because they aren't able to receive sex as much as they think women can so obviously the people that come up here are going to have that opinion um a lot of the time i but don't think if i just survey but they're not telling you they're, they're not telling you their body count though so how would you know because I, I I just gather that there is some resentment in there. They they act oh, like okay. they, they defend men that don't have well, sex with their whole I'm heart. I'm 27. I'm 27. I lost my virginity at 17. I've probably got like 60 on my record, and I still think that for women to have sex with a lot of men is bad. So. Oh, okay. and I feel so like you're that's just a hypocrite. Lie. That's. I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not a hypocrite. Work. I'm just. No, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm just saying it's just like <sighs> it's like, man, as humans, we have to evolve, man. And just like willingly giving yourself up. He says 60s rookie numbers. That's funny. Willingly giving yourself up just for the fuck of it and not really like thinking giving about your yourself up. Dude, listen, some people just listen. like penis. And that's fine. Some people that's just fine. Like penis. That, that's fine but you know why it's a problem because most women are not going to tell you they're not going to tell you body so count should not be relevant but they're not going to tell you they're why not the gonna fuck tell would you. a woman have to go out of their way to be like by the way i've fucked x amount of people like why should She's that not matter say that verbatimly, but like it's going to be like I don't know, man. I don't know. You're right. People are. I mean, it's a it's a double edged sword. It's a hard. It's a it's a controversial topic. But I feel like that shit just shouldn't happen, bro. Like well, a yeah, woman but should for be what to, reason? Because it's just unattractive. It is. It's unattractive, okay. and then on top of that, on top of that, you can fuck up your pH balance as well. You like, can fuck up your pH thing. balance by being with one person. Yeah, but like, we're not talking about like, just, we're not, no, no, we're not doing that. What do you mean? No. Your chances, your chances of fucking up your pH balance is more if you have more partners. That's not your true. Of, that is true. Why it's would it not, not be true? It's because same, it's your pH balance STDs. can be fucked up. Yeah, no, STD, it's not you, the same thing with STDs. You do have a higher likelihood of contracting an STD with the more people you have sex with. You do right. not have a higher likelihood of fucking up your pH with the amount of people you have sex with. The reason for that is because the reason why your pH balance gets fucked up when you have sex is not because of the amount of people you have sex with, but because another microbiome is coming into contact with your own. So even if you have sex with one partner your entire life, because two microbiomes are meeting and there's two different well, multiple kinds of bacteria that are meeting, you could get your pH balance fucked up every single time you fuck your singular partner for your, the rest of your life. It just depends on what your biology looks like down there. You don't have to have multiple okay. partners for that to be the case. But your pH balance okay, can be but, fucked but up by a bunch say, of things, like the material say, of your underwear, how long you leave a pad on, what you decide to eat that day, whether or not you've had enough water to drink, the acidity of the things that you've had to drink. Like, there, Wait, there's so somebody much. said that I'm threatening because women can fuck whoever they want. I'm not threatened by that. You can do whatever you want to do. Just know that it counts with consequences. And not every situation is going to be easy to just, okay, on to the next. 
it's not as easy. It's not as easy. And it's not like a men versus women thing because it's hard for men. Some men have sex with women that they know they're not going to, you know, fully pursue. And it's a tough situation that they have to just delete this person from them. And yeah, OK, I could fuck another person. But like, what good is that doing me? Like someone with sense, someone with like a, a stable mental state. What, what good is that doing me? So, yeah, I mean, women can have sex easily. You guys can fuck whoever you guys want. Not all the time, but like, I'm pretty sure if. Dude, you fucked 60 people. Okay. Why are we acting like men can't have sex with people? We can, but we're talking about the app. Like, come on now, the average are person. Are you not the average person? I mean, Am I missing something? Okay. All right. Unless okay. I'm tripping. They said 60 is rookie numbers. Okay. Y'all out here fucking fucking. What? Some people, yeah, listen, listen, you'll be surprised. Some people like do not, do. they're not that active. They're not that active. So. Oh, okay. What am I supposed to have? 150? You're talking about rookie numbers. Like what the fuck? What? Nah, bro. Dude, are you? Are Super create ego. Yeah, so, are, are you hey but not nah, earlier though i heard you went to brown um i ain't trying to put you out there like that but you don't, are smart please as fuck, thank you but like you're people are insane shit. you're smart as shit. okay 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 i'm gonna keep it there but i'm thank i'm proud you. of you well proud thanks you, but, but but you're still a hypocrite though you should make a seminar for this at your school though or some shit like that you know see what oh, they say body count yeah, like do that next semester. Do that next semester fall. Just go to like 50 guys and just see what they say. Make a YouTube video about it and see. You'll meet some you'll meet some pretty smart people. I I'm not give you the that. credit that that's not a horrible idea. That's not a horrible idea. That's actually good if you're really serious about this. But not him trying to shoot his shot. I am not trying to shoot my shot. She just said she has two people that she's talking to. So relax. I'm not Why insecure, you keep in the bro. comments, bro? We're supposed to be having a debate. Because it's, it's, yeah, I mean, I already said my point. I just feel like Your it, point it should is matter. Bad, though. Okay, all right. What's a great point, Sam? Because you, you've had like 100 people on here. What is a great point? I don't think there's a good point for this. You don't think like, it's like a good point? Like the best point I've ever heard for this is the STD point, but that applies to both. Which shows you that it's not good to just be out there just doing whatever. Well, You're sure, about but if that's the case, then it would apply for both equally. That's but the only even point you that said, think... even you, even you said it. If a person has sex with fifty people in a week, that's going to damage their mental health. Well, no, that's not what I said. I said that that's if someone is think. having sex with fifty people in a week, it could be indicative of them having a mental problem, not that it will cause a mental problem. Okay. Not that it will cause a mental problem. All right. Well, I mean, I guess continue to hide your skeletons in the closet. I mean, a at the end of the day, most people are not going to be honest about their fucking sexual experiences and shit like that. But skeletons if I heard that my wife was out there doing some shit or she had like a crazy past. And then also another person said, because a woman past oftentimes predict their future. So I felt like that was a good little topic or a good point, but yeah, man. Is that not also true of men? That's true. That's very true for men too. Okay, That's very so, true. That's very true. So then why true. are we holding this double standard for women? That's what I don't understand. Like why are we acting not, like women are some kind of like like separate species or something? Like it, you guys aren't, but it's just not it's not healthy, man. I just feel like it's not healthy. So that would be I the case like, for both. Yeah, it would be, but I just okay, feel like so it then, leans more for men. I mean, it leans more for women. Because one day you're going to be what? a but how, would you feel, how would you feel? Listen, how would you feel if, if and I'm not trying to disrespect, or I'm not going to say your mom. I'll say your, I don't even know. But like, how would, you feel, how would you feel if your mom was like out there, out there in her days before she got with your father? How would you feel about that? I don't care. You wouldn't care at all. No. What if these That's people her from vagina. the past, What if these people from the past are trying to like? Because men are crazy. Some men they they can't let go. So some guys try to come back from the past, and that's another. That's a good point right there. 
people try to oh, come back okay. from the past. And so to women shouldn't be fire. allowed to have the sex they want because some men are fucking insane. Is that not no. like a problem with the culture surrounding men? That's not a good point. No, because then the problem wouldn't That's be the a sex. Great point. You know the many, problem. You know how many women? You know how many women? You know how many women have suffered from that? No, like sir, when they try to move on. The problem would not be the sex. The problem would be the culture surrounding how men treat women, which is the point of the topic. If you can admit that when women have sex with men, some men will be insane enough to stalk them or not allow them to move on, then you can acknowledge that there's a culture surrounding how men treat women where they don't have to give them a level of respect that allows them to sever ties, that they feel okay. an entitlement to their presence. How about this? How about this? How about this? How about the 19-year-old girl that met this guy on Tinder and after three days, he did something. He chopped her up or whatever, and he got sentenced to jail. What can you say about that? That is the, the fault of men. You're right, but it's it's still like, come on now. If you were focusing and doing what the hell you were supposed to be doing, I'm not even Whoa. trying to reach. I'm not even wait, trying to reach. what? Wait, I'm not even wait, to reach. wait. It's just I'm what? telling you the risks are there. The no, risks no, no, are no, there. no, 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 no. That was gross. How is that gross? If you were do if you were focusing on what you were supposed to do, are you saying that it's her fault? Bro, she was 19. A 19 she year old should be able to go on a Tinder date and come back alive. That's not her fault. What I'm saying, okay, you're right. You're right. It's not her fault. And I'm not trying to blame I'm not trying to blame the victim. All right. I'm just saying that it's certain risk out there that happens, bro. That's all I'm saying. Okay. That's all I'm saying. There are risks associated with everything. What is your point? You're right. You're right. All right. I don't know what else to say. She said, Ramon, what are we doing? I don't know what else to say. I just still feel like it should, it should matter more for women, man. Because the past, people can come back. Partners can try to like rekindle flame. You're trying to move on with your life. Then you got this attachment like, oh, yeah, his dick was good. So I really don't know. Some people, I mean, they get attached, man. Not everybody's the same. Not everybody's gonna think the same, you know, so yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, take I'm me just, down, it's cool. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna that's 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 diabolical work. That's hello? Hello. Hey, how old are you? Uh twenty two. What year were you born? Two thousand two. Okay. Do you think body count should matter for women but not for men? Uh, no, that's not, that's not exactly what I think. Um, I think more the, the culture for both men and women is, is getting, is getting messed up. And, um, I agree, I think, but, but, but with the utmost respect, I'm only looking for ops and you would not be an op. I'm sorry. Um, Okay. Um, the, just kind of the one thought would be, um, if, if, uh, I, I've been with many women with many different body counts. Um, I've been in long-term relationships, with women that have had higher body counts. I've been in relationships with women with low body counts. Um, the one thing I will say that is bad, I, I'd say more so for women than for men is what it does to their mental health. Um, you know, men will have this ego complex where, you know, they're like, oh yeah, like the last guy, he's like, oh, I've been with 60 women, right? And then you, you then somebody comes in the comment, they're like, 60's rookie numbers. And he's like, oh, 60's rookie numbers? Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, and he's, you can tell, like he's getting upset and shit. Um, and it's like, for for men, it's more like, it doesn't affect them mentally what they do, but for women, it does affect them mentally. And I think that causes a lot of mental health issues. Wait, um, but you, you just, no, I'm not saying that it doesn't cause mental health issues, but I don't think it causes mental health issues for the reasons that you're thinking, or maybe like you haven't gotten that far. Um, from what I've looked at, there's a study from the NIH, but the reason, or at least the, a, like a large reason is when women have a high body count it comes with stigma and that stigma 
causes mental health issues like substance abuse in order to cope um, or depression and anxiety. Um, but that just goes back to the beginning of the question. So the problem would be the stigma, not the sex. Okay, I can see that. But what, what would be, what would you say um, is, is something that can fix this stigma? Like, I Talking think- Talking about it more. Okay, I, I, I can see that because I just feel like, you know, like you, you, you look at these different lives, it's like they're talking about Kamala versus Trump and then it's just a big argument. And it's like, I, I think if, if things are gonna change, you need to have an actual conversation. Like pe people, people love to argue. Um, it's like Thanksgiving dinner, you know, people, people remember the part where Uncle John was bringing up Donald Trump and being a, a crazy person, you know, but it's like you need to have genuine conversations if you want the world to go anywhere. Um, oh, yeah, I agree. Um, unfortunately, though, genuine conversations are not always what gets views on TikTok. So this probably isn't the best place to have genuine conversation. I mean, I try my best, but uh, some people just like having fun on this app, this sad, deplorable cesspool of an app. Um, yeah. Men be good to women. Period. And thank you for coming up. You'll get more too. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Moving on to the next guest. Thank you, Paris. Also, Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal are in the bio. I'm going to set a live goal to try and get the live sent out further so we can get even more ops in here. We do have ops, by the way. Um, I just want to see if we can get some, like a variety. Make sure we keep the ball rolling. It's 1248. I will probably end the live at like 1.30 ish. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next guest. The next guest. Thank you, Martin. Hello. Hello. Hi. How old are you? I am 33. Okay. Do you think body count should matter for women, but not for men? Uh, I wouldn't say it shouldn't matter for men. That depends on the women. In regard, uh, that in regards to, like, I would say it's very specific. So, like, in terms of <clears throat> if it's a woman like looking for a long term relationship, or rather a man looking for a long term relationship, I would say that like, the women's body count definitely does matter. Well, and I think does, he has a right to I have that opinion. Should. Okay. Do you think he has the right to have that opinion and not hold that standard for himself? Yes, because um, sex is given by the woman, not the man. Like, sex does not happen unless like the woman agrees to it. The woman is like the well, yeah, key but holder. sex doesn't happen unless the man agrees to it too. That's how consent works. Well, yes, but like the woman is the majority shareholder. I guess you could say in that context. Are you just saying that men pursue? And of course, men pursue. Okay. Well, women do Why pursue this... as well. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So. So then, what is the point that you're making? Well, no, I'm saying like, why should body count matter more for women but not for men? Because I'm speaking in regards specifically to like, uh, if you're seeking like a long-term partner, like that is something that will be held held against you by a man if you're a woman when you're looking for a long-term partner. Wait, so you're saying it should matter because it does matter? Yes. Are you sure that's the hill you want to die on, bestie? It should matter. Well, I mean, I don't know Cause, about the cause does that, part. Because cause that, that could go down some terrible, terrible roads. Well, here's, here's my... Let me explain my logic to you. Um, okay. So, like... If you are looking for a long-term partner as a woman, but say your body count is in the 50 plus and you have that discussion with a guy, he's probably going to have a problem with that. So like, it's okay. You had your fun when you were like in your teens, early twenties or whatever, but now you want to settle down. You want to have a family and now it's a problem. Okay. So this is a circular argument. And the reason for that is here, when I say matter, obviously, you know, I mean, 
the the stigma or men caring about it uh, in regards to a relationship or a sexual partnership. You're saying that it should matter because men care about it, which is why it matters. But I also think the stigma is good because, like, why do we? Why would you want to promote women going out and having a lot of sex? Like, particularly, do, especially do you, when, if we're speaking like generally, of course, well, of course, there's going to be like outliers. Like, if you want to do what you want to do, I have no argument against that. Of course, like, I'm not. Like, I'm sp- in regards to generality. If like, I don't get why you would want to like. I'm not saying you specifically. Why anyone would want to promote that? Well, yeah, but. Is there no in between stigmatizing and promoting? Like, why can't we just leave people uh, there, alone? Because that's there's, what I'm arguing wiggle. for. Oh no, there's definitely like in between. Like, I'm not. I'm not saying like you, it's either virgin or nothing. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm talking. That's what I'm and, saying. I'm saying we should leave people alone. Like, we shouldn't stigmatize people for having the consensual and safe sex that they want. But that's what's happening. I think that's bad and it's harmful. Well, so then what, uh, I guess the question would be then, what kind of like number are we talking, like, see, for example, like, uh, say early 20s, okay, I think if your number are reaching like the mid 20s, 30s, I feel that that's getting like kind of fucking crazy. Like that's, and like, I feel like it's okay to stigmatize against that because that is a good stigmatization because like, that's just, it, it just is a good thing to stigmatize. But for what? For the health of the woman, for the longevity but of not like, for the man? if she wants to find. Oh, of course, I'm not promoting that men go out and do this. So then, you think it should matter equally? No, no, because it's not the same. Because, uh, like, sex doesn't happen. Like, a man can pursue all he likes all the live long day. It's the woman that has to give it up essentially so if women deny sex the man doesn't get sex and men has to try harder the man has to be better okay so, so women denying sex would lead to better men we the the leap the leap that that we just took is is groundbreaking how how would denying men sex lead to better men i'm not like i don't like that's i'm not saying denying i'm That's just exactly saying what not said, giving it up the word you said okay i did use that word that is my bad i'm like trying to like be quick about what i'm saying <clears throat> um like i'm saying like just not going out and giving it up all the time say like just on weekends and stuff so women can't just again i'm being incredibly fuck? general oh no they can okay so but why should we stigmatize the fuck? that men or other women W bisexuals. You could, you could stigmatize men as well. You could. Yeah, I'm not saying. Uh, no, that's. Why should we stigmatize people having safe and consensual sex as much as they want? Like, what? What is as the purpose much of as that? they want? So yeah. what's the what's the limit? I don't think there should be a limit on the number. I think the only reason why there should be like any kind of limit is if, like I said, for example, fifty people in a week, like. That's how many people in a day? Okay. It's like, f- hmm, it's like four. It's like eight people a day type shit. Yeah, that that's okay. that's concerning, right? Not that that that's like indicative of some kind of like mental health issue, you know? I think that that's important, yeah. but even then, we still shouldn't stigmatize that because what help is there in stigmatizing mental health? Like you want people to seek help, obviously, but shaming someone with a mental health issue isn't going to help them get better. Okay, now see the angle I'm coming at it from is that the stigma would stop the person from getting to that point, to that fifty in a week. That is where the stigma well, no. would come in. Like, oh, you shouldn't do that, so therefore. Like they wouldn't do it, but now, like, wouldn't you say, like, in the culture, it's almost promoted, if anything? Well, no. Saying that you should be allowed to have as much safe and consensual sex as you want isn't a promotion. I'm just saying that it's your body, and if you're not harming anyone, you should be allowed to do what you want with that body, regardless I, of I, your I gender. I don't understand. 
I don't understand how that's not a promotion. I don't understand how that sentence, what you just said, is not you a promotion. You should be able to do something because it doesn't hurt people. Is promotion? But, uh, I mean, kind of. How, how is it not? Could you explain how it's not? Sure. Promotion implies that I'm peddling something or like advertising something. I'm not saying, but you are peddling go that? out You're peddling. and have as much sex as humanly possible. Go out there, get that dick wet. Make sure that pussy is stretched wide open. Like, no. I'm just saying if you want to go have sex, you should do so safely and consensually without stigma. But it's, it's a thin line, isn't it? Like, I, I feel like you kind of get, I feel like you kind of get what I'm saying. Like, it, it can't be either or. Like, to say that you can, like, when you, when you add the caveat as much as you want, do you get what I'm saying? Okay. You should be allowed to have safe and consensual sex as much as you want, unless if a therapist speaks to you, they diagnose you with a sex addiction. Like, How would as you long know you as had this, what? Well, a but sex addiction means to... that the sex that you're having interferes with um, your your mental well-being or your ability to navigate life regularly. Because that's well, addiction. By the, time, by the time it's got to the point where you're seeing a therapist for the sex addiction, that's well, already no, you, a moot point. You should point. be seeing a therapist regardless. I'm saying if a therapist would diagnose you with a sex addiction, that's, you know. Wait, that, why would you be seeing a therapist regardless? Because therapists help you increase your emotional intelligence and it's good to have a therapist so that you're able to strengthen your connections as a person. But we're just talking people. about like, like, and so like speaking generally, we're just talking about like a normal person, like yeah, guy or girl that should, would just be... Yeah, normal people should have like, a therapist. But, so, what, everyone should have to. a therapist? Yeah, including other therapists. Well, I mean, I guess that's... <laughs> including therapists. I mean, I guess that's a whole other um, discussion, but I don't really understand that point. Why not? You know what? Well, everyone, therapy doesn't everyone work for should everyone, have a therapist. which is fair. But if you have the ability to have like a therapist, you should definitely give it a try. And the reasons for that are, especially with talk therapy, only thing a therapist really does is give you a platform for you to be able to speak your mind without judgment and also fear of burdening others. Because that's what stops people from expressing themselves a lot. And it's already been proven that if you bottle up your emotions, there are a lot of bad things that can come from that. You could end up taking it out on other people or yourself in a very harmful way. Um, and not having that outlet could cause you to do some really, really terrible things. So a therapist, it allows you to get feelings out without harming other people. Which is great, because then, now that you feel a more, like, emotional release, you can go out into the world and strengthen your connections with other people with what you learned in therapy, and also not have your mental health end up having <clears throat> terrible ramifications for how you treat people. Because that's, well, I mean, that happens a lot. I, I, I get what you're saying, and, like, I, I will grant you it's definitely, like, a positive message. I've got no, well, I was going to say I've got no gripes with it, but I, like, kind of do, because, like, I think it's both realistic to acknowledge the fact that not everyone will have a therapist. Yeah, like, not that's just like not gonna happen. Will, but I think it would be cool if, like, if you have the resources to. I think it would be cool to pursue that. I think it'd be beneficial. Again, not therapy isn't for everyone. That's what I preface it with. But if you have the option, I think you should try it. I mean, uh, it's it's kind of getting like off topic though. But uh, so if I could just like circle back, I would just say like why body count should matter. Uh, more for women than men is that it will definitely hinder more like on a man's thoughts when pursuing a woman like I'm talking in terms of, like a long term relationship like marriage, children etc like if she has like an insanely high body count like that's like something that will maybe like just put the man off and I think he has every right to be put off by that and I feel like that's something that could be spoken against like i think that's where the stigma would be good and i'm not saying like like oh you harlot like, uh, like women have to be like virgins and stuff like i get like we're all young like well we've all been young like but i'm just saying like not going crazy and i just like i don't understand how that could be considered a bad message well it's a bad message because you don't hold the same standard for yourself which makes it hypocritical 
I don't think. Well, but but hypocr- I'm not the one that this well, uh, is are good. M- m- well, is but it is a double standard because men and women are different. So there's going to be double standards. There's also yeah, double standards but like this with double men. Standard is harmful. And there, there are well, double standards against men that are harmful too. I'm not saying those are good either. Well, yeah, exactly. But yeah, like, so this is bad. Like, but but at the same time, at the same time, like we can't just deny that these things exist. Like these yeah, things, I'm not like, saying they I'm do denying exist. it. I already acknowledge that they do exist, which is why the question is not why does body count matter or does body count matter. It's why should it? Because it does. But I think that the the fact that it does harms people. But that's why I think it should matter. So you think the harm is good? Because, no, I don't think the harm is good. That's not what I said. Please, oh, don't. I think it should matter because it can have an effect later on in life. Which like, would you not agree that many women regret the things that they've done in their past, which has like led to them maybe not getting with partners that they liked, like really wanted to like settle not down with? Necessarily, like not in my experience, at least. I'm, I, but I feel like I can say that as a generalization, and like that can just be something that's true. Like there can be a woman, let's just say that she's in her late twenties, and she was like in her like like eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. She went like crazy college, like etc. and stuff. Racked up an insane body count. Met someone, say like in her late twenties, and then they had that conversation. And this is a conversation that is had because <clears throat> I've even been asked like off women like what's my body count and stuff so like it is a conversation that comes up one way or the other and like she's like being truthful job or school so much uh because i am busy catching up with school and stuff welcome to the live my love i'm hello are you sober (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what did you guys drink? No, I'm just stupid. Um, Actually? Yeah, I can't find... I can't find... Um, Why are you always losing shit? I know. What was it this time? Because like usual, my I makeup, probably know where it is. My makeup wipes. Your makeup wipes? Yeah. They are, I, I organized it. They're inside of that um that green clear bag that you have. If you open it up. Stop looking hot on camera. It's annoying. Thank you. Anyway, the the clear and green <laughs> bag you have. The the green and clear bag. Are you listening to me? Yeah. What did I say? The clear and something. Fuck you. The the green and clear bag. Open it up. The mega wipe should be in there. But if you don't feel like looking for them, you can use these. I have wipes. I have wipes. They're they're cucumber wipes, and so are these. Just use these. But they're the. What is? Oh, they're here. cucumber what? But then if I kill myself, you know what? You, you know, you know what? You know, you know what? <laughs> first time. Is this makeup remover or just cleansing wipes for your face? It's it takes off your makeup. I put a little bit of my cellar water on there too. Just double it up real quick. Sorry, guest. My friends are sexy. No problem. It looks G-A-Y. Hmm. See, you're live. I'm smart. True. I see where you did not catch me this time. Every time you walk in here, I'm more and more uh, tempted to just cut the live off. Mm. You know? Yeah. Well, I'm waiting. I've been waiting. Me too. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Like, you can fully see my big-ass pregnant belly. <laughs> did I? But did I ask? No, you didn't. Exactly. That's what so I thought. I'm telling you, it's the pheromones. I would have said the exact same thing whether you were pregnant or not. Oh. Love you. Love you. Sorry. She just... She does things to me. Um, <laughs> matter of fact, my body count might raise by one tonight. Um... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't remember what we're talking about anymore. I just kind of want to fuck her now. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking. I cannot remember what I was saying. Me neither. Um, I could just recap. 
I'm pretty sure I was just going on about like my actual main point about why should body count matter more for women but not men. Yep, because it could harm you in terms of looking for a long term partner down the line. So that's why it should matter. So that's what in uh, in regards to bringing it back to like stigma being stigmatized. That's why I think the stigma is good to like like even though it is stigma. But like I'm talking about stigma in terms of like the pretense. So like before it happens. So like the stigma stigmatization like before you rack up the high body count, like oh like you shouldn't do that, like da 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 da. And then like uh if you're looking for like a long term partner uh later in life and okay. you haven't racked up that high but high body count, that could be beneficial to you. No, right. But again, I, I'm saying this logic is circular because you're saying that it should matter because there's stigma about it mattering. Like that already presupposes that it should matter. Well, but like uh, racking up high body counts is still like a pretty new thing. Like I would say like for who? Like, generally for women, like what, in society in general. I would say it's like still like what? pretty. I don't mean like in the last the like, year. The men's was fucking a lot. The men's was oh, yeah. hundreds of years. But we're talking about women. They, they, they but was, we're talking about was... women. Well, I asked you if you meant women, and then you said no. Oh no no no! And I I was literally talking specifically about women there. Oh okay. Well yeah, because they weren't really allowed uh, to do what they want because men were telling them they couldn't, and beating their ass if they did, or killing them if they did. Or torturing okay, them that's, if they did. That's a, that's a big generalization, but okay. Well, it's it's not. Women didn't really that have is. rights until like like the last few hundred years. Uh, different conversation. I'm really not wanna. I mean, I could, but that's not what this conversation is about. So, um. Okay. Yep. Fuck, I feel like I was fucking like kind of on a roll Like you're probably going to say I'm not, but I feel like I was kind of like fucking going no, before. No, I would never <clears throat> say that. That's so rude and disrespectful. <laughs> no. No. Oh, yeah, kind of. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, like, uh, so if I could just recap my point, I think that it matters in terms of uh, a woman that is looking for a partner later in life. Because a man will judge a woman on that. Sir, so that is why it should sir, matter. Sir, 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 you're driving me up a wall. I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and make this make sense. Okay? Um The stigma exists right now. That stigma will affect a woman's choices in marriage. You think that that means the stigma should matter. That is a circular argument. You're saying the stigma affects women, so they should care. I'm saying the stigma should be gotten rid of. Your argument presupposes the stigma being a good. I'm saying it's not. <clears throat> Why okay, is the so stigma good? Because it stops women getting a higher body count, which is a good thing. Like I'm not saying why, that women should why stay. Why is that bad? Why is women having sex? like with with people that they want to have sex with bad but it's not bad when men do it that's what i'm asking you i and again i would like uh say i'm not an advocate also of men like just going out and just fucking left right and center just racking up and saying body counts like that's not like i'm not saying oh men should do this but women should not do this i'm saying that, like that's, that's uh, the, the reason no, no, I get that, but I'm saying why it's, uh, the prompt is also matter more for women. So I'm saying why it matters more. No, oh my god, should not that it does, not not that it does, should should bestie. I know it does. I'm saying that's bad. Why do you think it's good? No, 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 but okay, we just got onto the point of stigma. I think the stigma is good. And you say, why do you think the stigma is good? You're I say, saying the because... stigma is good because people care about the stigma. That's round. That is rotund. No, 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 no. The re one of the, well, there's many reasons why the stigma is good. 
because um obviously because of stds that's an obvious one obviously because of mental health that's also an obvious one like just like pair bonding obviously an obvious pair one bonding like uh, it becomes harder to like it's something i've heard i'm not too sure on it but like it's some like it becomes harder to pair bond if you've had a lot more partners pair to, like, actually not like not real in humans it may, it may be it may be not like something that i've just like heard of so like just that's not i mean un unless you have a source saying the contrary because that in, in humans that's not I, no, I'm not like a source guy. I'm much rather critical thinking, which is why I said it's something I heard. I'm not sure how. Okay. I, I, so you're I, I, saying I STDs. Say that. This applies to women and men. We're talking of about course. why it should matter more for women. Okay, and mental health. I would definitely say it affects women's mental health more than it does men. Do you have a source for this? Do I need a source for this? Yes. Why do I need a source for this? Because I have no reason to believe this. You don't believe women are more emotionally impacted when it comes to sex? No. Okay. I can be proven wrong. That's why I'm asking for a source. No, uh, no, no. no. I, I was not being snide or anything there. <clears throat> no, that's, that's fine. I just... Can I? Can I have? Can I have? No, I think. Uh, I I don't have a sort. I mean, like my source would be life experience. I think I feel like most people would just agree on this. But um, well, I feel like well, if you yeah, feel like the conversation has reached its end, that that that's well, fine. Well, okay. Well, thank I you. I enjoyed for the conversation. Up. Yeah. Me too. Yep. Thanks for having me. Bye bye. Bye bye. I wanted a source. Why couldn't I get? Why couldn't I? Why couldn't I get a source though? Also, follow me if you fuck with me. Cash up on PayPal are in the bio. Make sure we're tap, tap, tap on that screen and also spamming the share button. Hi, how old are you? Oh, nineteen. Oop, I think I oh, accidentally you, joined. I... Hmm? Oh, do you not disagree with the prompt? Yeah, sorry about that. Oh. No worries. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye bye. Yeah, <laughs> O'Hara is a fire ass last name, by the way. That shit eats down. Spider Man. Spider Man. Hello? Uh, good morning. Hi. How old are you? I'm 28. Okay. Do you think body count should matter for women, but not for men? Um, it should matter for men as well, but more for women. Why? Um, also, before we continue, I just want to emphasize the word should. Should, ought, not does. I, I, just, I just want to make sure that that is clear. Okay? Okay, granted. Okay. Okay, why? Because first, having sex affects the body of women more than the body of men. How so? Uh, the vaginal um, tract, that's the, the hole, it enlarges it. It does not. This has been okay. proven false for several yeah. decades. <laughs> that that's not... Uh, uh, can you give me a source that proves it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand what is funny. But... No, no, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing's funny. Does the vagina... Does the vagina enlarge with with intercourse?
Do you take medical news today or ISSM or health.com or the Center for Surgery or Planned Parenthood or the Center for Young Women's Health? Like, is there a particular one that you want me to look at? Um, okay, no, I will look it up myself. That's why I'm asking for 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 source. Um, okay. But if we'll look if at I'm, the young if I'm women, wrong, we'll look at the Center for Young Women's Health. Um, is it normal if, for if, your vagina to be loose and look different after having sex? Um, the idea that penis and vagina sex causes the vagina to become loose or stretched out is a myth, meaning it is made up. That goes back hundreds of years. You may have heard that having PIV sex more than one time or having sex with multiple partners will cause your vagina to permanently stretch. This is a false and unscientific rumor, usually spread to shame people with vaginas for having and enjoying sex. Let's dive into the science of vaginas to understand why the loose vagina myth is untrue. The vagina is an elastic canal made up of muscle and ligaments that connect the internal reproductive organs, uterus, cervix, ovaries, and fallopian tubes to the vulva. Uh, the external anatomy, including the labia, the clit, vag vaginal opening, urethra, and Bartholin glands. Um, vaginas are super stretchy, and when a person is sexually aroused, the vagina relaxes to accommodate fingers, a penis, or a sex toy. After sex, the muscles move back into place like a rubber band. It is not possible to permanently loosen or stretch the vagina by having PIV sex or other forms of penetrative sex. But also, you can just look up, does the vagina permanently loosen during sex, and you will get a wealth of, of other sources if you'd like. Okay. It's never been a, a, a subject of interest to me, but now, if I'm wrong, then I'm educated in that, in that uh, department. But I have another, another reason why I believe that it should still uh, be more for women, which is the fact that uh, men approach women. Well, not all the time, but in most cases. So okay. if if a, a woman have a body count, it means that um, she, she gives out her body more to people that are requesting it. And men don't get offer freely. So um, it means that uh, a, a woman with more body count um, is taking anything she, she's getting. I'm going to be fully honest with you. I, d I don't. Are you just saying that, like, it's easier for women to get sex? Is that? Um, is that is that the argument? That's not the argument, but okay. Could, um, could you rephrase? Because I, I don't think I understood. A lot of people approach women, people that are not serious, and because of that, um, the women that accept a lot of anything that that comes their way. Okay. Do not do not do not, do not respect their, their body. Because okay. they just accept anything. They just accept anything that comes their way. But men that have a lot, he examine and then approach. And women don't choose who approaches them. So the more you accept the more you tell people that you don't have uh, respect for your body. Why would choosing to have sex with a man mean you don't have respect for your body? Because you allow anybody into it. Just anybody. Well, I'm not saying that you should just let literally anyone into your body. I'm saying the people that you want to have sex with, you should be allowed to have sex with without the stigma. I also um, don't think men should just have sex with literally anyone. No, they shouldn't. I think they should that's use why a I said, process. Well, yeah, the, but that's that what applies to men and women. Yeah, but uh, because a lot of because uh, men do the approach, uh, it means that they select before they, they select before they approach. 
and women they don't approach. So the more you accept people, the, the more likely you accept people that are not what you giving your body to. Okay, but why yeah. is choosing to have that sex bad? Having sex in itself is bad for both gender, right? We have agreed on that. Like having too much sex, Wait. too much, I mean, too much partner, too much partner. Uh, okay. Uh, not, not sex itself. Like having too many partner is good, is bad for both gender. That one there, we cannot agree on that. Well, what do you mean by too much? Uh, in my opinion, more than one, but less. More than one is too argument. much? For, for me personally, but in general, that's fine. in general, like less. Huh? That, that's fine. I mean, you don't. You mean like it's too much for a woman or it's too much for men and women? No, 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 no. For, for both gender. No, yeah, that, you're allowed to have that preference. But like, why should that affect what other people get to do with their bodies? We are living in a society, so okay. what you do with your, yeah, what you do with your body, it is your body, but it also affects the 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 the, um, uh, the general public. So I'm gonna be instance, fully honest uh, with you, sir. I I what? don't understand what you're saying right now, and I think that's my fault. Could could you maybe like try and be a little bit more concise with your with your argument so it's easier to track? Because I'm really confused. Uh, um, to be honest, you are the one that deviated a little bit. So we are talking about um, uh, body count, and then you went you went to why having multiple partner is is bad. So. Well, no, you, you said having multiple partners is bad. So I said, why? Yeah, because having multiple partner, your, your, your STD, it is Well, yeah, it. but that happens for men and women. I said for both gender. Right. Okay. So then, so then why do you think it should matter more for women? That's why I'm confused. Like everything uh, yeah, you've said affects both. It matters more for, 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 for women because um, for both gender, right? The more sex you have, the more partners you have, the more it shows that you don't have uh, respect for your body. But because men approach women for sex. Why does because, that mean that you don't have respect for your body? Because you allow just any, uh, 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 anybody to get it. The more people no, you allow no into your body. That you should allow the just more, anybody to get it. The, the less the, your, your quality, um, yeah, the more people ass. you allow. Who just ripped ass? Does she go, is that you? Oh my fucking god. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Uh, the, more, the more you allow people to, to access into your body, the less they are. Uh, um um the requirement for people that I have access to their body reduces if you have high standard very high standard the people that that can uh, uh qualify for it will be will be later okay wouldn't that also apply to men i said it does but because okay, so men do not, the approaching you're not you're not th this doesn't you're because not... men do the approaching, they, they okay, have but to, if men they have approach a bunch of women, if men just keep approaching a bunch of women, then that would also imply that they're not like that they're, they're trying to give their body to too many people. So I don't understand why this only applies to women. It, 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 the reason is that uh, uh, the pool of the people approaching you is smaller than the pool of the people available to the to men to examine before they approach. So everybody have, is have, 
everybody is available to the mentor approach. So if you check the quantity, the, the number of people available to mentor approach compared to the ones they got, it is small. But if you compare the, the number of men approached a woman and the number of people they allowed to have their way, then you you find out that the a woman did less scrutiny before allowing the men to have their way. That's how you get um, the, the, the amount of respect somebody have for their body. The women, the men that, that uh, have multiple sexual partners, they also don't have respect for, for their body. But it's more for the women because the pool from which they did the selection is smaller compared to the men. So that's my argument. Well, no, that doesn't really make any sense because if a woman has more options and a man doesn't, then she would be using more scrutiny to pick who she wants to have sex with. A man, on average, then, would just be racking up a high body count by going to fuck whoever he can, while a woman would be racking up a high body count fucking whoever she wants, which means she's using scrutiny, but he's not. This is a, an internal critique, by the way. I'm not saying I think like this. I'm just saying that's where the logic follows. I don't know how to put this so that uh, uh, it will not it will not it will not uh, be secular like but um women eh, are more likely eh, like their choice they're more likely to what like the, their choice eh? they're their more choice? likely to get to get men eh, that are not high quality like if the, what do you mean if, not if the, high quality people that are not worth it men that are not worth it they have high chance of having sex but the number are mostly comprised of men that are not that are of okay. lower standard with with the utmost respect i'm so sorry i can i i i'm in pain i feel like we're going in circles right now and i only have like five brain cells left and they're slowly dying off i'm so sorry but thank you for coming up i okay. i'm so so very tired i'm sorry okay but i hope you enjoy the rest of your night bye bye okay, goodbye all right <laughs> okay moving on to the next guest. I feel so bad. Hello? Jeez? Patrick, I'll let you up in like 10 minutes. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hi. Hi yes. How old are you? I'm 22. Okay. What year were you born? 2002. Okay. Were you here before? No. Never been on here, no. Okay, do you think body count should matter for women but not for men? Uh, absolutely. That's uh, just my opinion. I just think like uh, men have to work to like get laid. Women really doesn't have to work to get laid. So it's more of an experience thing or... Yeah, pretty much that's it. So if a woman does does have more body count, it just shows that she's pr uh, promiscuous, that she doesn't have any accountability. So yeah. Why is it bad for women to fuck but not for men to fuck? Because men have to work to like fuck. He needs to have status. He needs to have money. He needs to have like, you no, know, he clout. He just needs Wo to be cute. No, that's for women. Women just needs to be cute. And as long as they're cute, they can have sex with anyone. Dude, what woman is out here requiring a man to make six figures just to lay pipe? What good is the six figures going to do if all he's going to do is lay pipe? No, but leave? women, women look what for a man. What is the money going to do? Yeah, that's good. But women, men don't look for a woman that has money. They just look for looks. Women, men, on the other hand, needs to have status. He needs to have money. He needs to have, he needs to have a career. He needs to have status. To fuck? Yeah, to fuck, yeah. Where? What do you mean where? America, United States. I'm from do, Texas. Do you so. have a source that says that a common requirement for women just to have sex is 
status, money. Are you are and you disagreeing looks? that men would fuck anything? Yeah, I, I think that's dehumanizing as fuck to men. Yeah, but do you agree with that statement or I No, I don't think that men fuck anything. Are they they fuck more like they're they're more willing to fuck anything compared to women. I don't think that's true. You're talking about like a high body count, right? So I'm telling you the reasons why a woman with a high body count is not respected. Can you consider what? what do I you know consider why they're body? not respected. I'm saying what? they. Sh I'm saying they shouldn't be disrespected. I understand why they are. I'm saying that that's harmful. Oh, so it's harmful. Yeah. Okay, that's that's. I'm just telling you my opinion on so why should women with high body count? Because the one thing about women with high body count is. Is something that's insecure within them to for them to open up their legs so often to strangers, right? So one with high body counts, like it's like no accountability, you know. That's just my opinion, you know. No dis no disrespect. Well, what what do they need to be accountable for? Liking penis? I mean, there's something in their childhood that makes them like want to sleep around. That makes them like penis. It's not like it's like a cope. It's like a coping mechanism for them to go well, around. Well, it can be. Penis. They didn't, get, they didn't get like attention and love like from their they didn't get attention and love from their father, so they're trying to seek that pleasure or happiness Bro, like in the streets. Some women just want cock. Why why does this have to be about like childhood trauma? I'm not, I'm talking, not, about, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about escorts and prostitutes. I'm talking about like actual Who said like, anything about escorts and prostitutes? Some average women just want cock. So why can't they just settle with one man? Why do they have to sleep around? Some people like different sexual dynamics with different people. Like okay, I, I myself am a switch. I, I'm dominant and submissive. It depends on how I feel. One person is not going to do it for me if I'm what just like... Mean, what do you mean switch? I never heard of that term. Can you explain that to me? I like being... Oh, are you not actually 22? Are you lying? I'm 22. I've never heard of switch. I'm, I'm just no, asking. It's just, uh, no, I'm not saying it because of your age. I'm saying because this person keeps saying that you're not 22. I don't know why? who they are. I don't know. Why, like, are they trying to say I'm immature? No. I, I think they're just saying that you're lying. Person, I, do you have like a reason to say that? Or because that's... I'm 22. I'm born in 2002. Okay. I'm just asking what a switch is. I, know, I never heard what a switch is, so... Okay, that's fine. Um, A switch is just someone who goes back and forth between dominant and submissive sexually. With a woman, like, like for example, like for you, are you talking about like I, with another woman or with a man? Either. That doesn't make sense because two women cannot have sex. Yes, they can. How could two women have sex? Sex is through vagina, like intercourse, well, no, like that, that's specifically that's specifically penetrative sex. There are multiple kinds of sex. Like but you know, oral is a kind of sex, right? Yeah, but that's not that's not sex. That's oral sex. I'm talking about like yeah, two that, women that, can't have se sex. Sex is in the word. That's so. How can two women have sex? That's 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 news to me. D do you want me to explain to you what lesbian sex is? I mean, scissoring is not sex. I don't. know. Who the fuck? Lesbians don't even really scissor. So what do lesbians do? I, putting on a strap doesn't mean you're having sex. That I never said that either. Dude, okay, what, what the what the this fuck? Is getting, this is getting this is getting weird. I thought we were talking about man and woman. You're, you're, I, the, one I, who, I, you're the one who asked this question. You're talking you, about two women. Two women can't have sex just because they, they have they a can. On How? So if I if I get a baseball bat and shove it up your ass, does that mean I'm having sex with you? You could. No, man, that's crazy talk. If I get a baseball bat and shove it up your ass, is that sex? Of course not. If it's consensual. No, no, no. Sex is penis and vagina. That's a, a kind woman of with sex. a high body count has That's no not respect the only for kind herself. of sex that exists. A woman who has a high body count does not have any respect for herself. She's been abused as a child. There's reasons why she's in the streets looking for pleasure. Okay. Do you have a source saying that all women with a high body count are doing it because they were abused as a child? I have child? many sources. I have a countdown though, but I can give you many sources that says that. Okay. Been... Can I have Can I have the source, please? Uh, all right. Give me a second. Thank you. So we got worldhealth.org that says women who are promiscuous. The reason for that is because of high sexual abuse as children. Can I have the title of the article? 
uh, woman and sexual abuse leading to high body count. Worldhealth.org. You said the World Health Organization. Yeah. I do not. I, I have it in I a link. I have it in link format. I can send it to you. I don't know if I can put it in the comments. I mean, sure, but you'd have to send it to me through Instagram because I can't copy and paste it in the comments. Through Instagram? Okay, I'll, I'll send you the source through Instagram. Can, you can't find it or? No, I, I can't. I Are typed you in women and sexual abuse leading to high body count, and then I put in who because that's World Health Organization. Yeah, World Health Organization, yeah. I found something from Rain that just gives me the sexual assault hotline. Um, Reddit and Quora, which obviously, fuck no. Um, Medium, which is a, a think piece, uh, difficult relationship with the body, that's Sapria. Uh, the impact of sexual abuse on female development. Does grape count towards your body count? Sexual assault and harassment, violence prevention, um, violence against women from the who is all I found from them. And why body count matters from EV magazine. Can I ask you a question? Do you think there's no correlation to women with high body count and them being neglected either emotionally or sexually as a child? Well, I think that sometimes abuse can lead to like hypersexualization or sex addiction. But like I don't 95%. think- Like 95%. Yeah, fuck no. No, that's too high of a percentage. Yeah, fuck, fuck no. No. So what would the percentage be if you had to estimate? Like the people who are abused and also have a high body count? Yeah. Like I'm, both, I'm talking about both mentally, like either their father wasn't there when they're like, didn't give them that emotional, you know, or them being physically abused, either one of the two, emotional and physical. Like maybe 30? 30 is 30. I think it's more than 30. Okay. Well, can I have the source for that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll send it to you. Through. I'll just ask it for your opinion for that, but. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, and for the body count matter more for women. Yeah, absolutely. For, I already told you the one, the first reason is that men have to work for it. A woman doesn't, a woman could literally go outside right now. As long as she's hot, take off her pants. A homeless guy will shove his dick inside her within two minutes. Okay. Men, let's, let's not, let's, men, let's, let's men cut the cameras. That's not. No, I'm just telling you, men would literally shove no, the dick yeah, in her. No, that's, sh 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 no, that's, no, no, we're not. That's, that's. That doesn't sound like consensual intercourse, sir. That's no. That's no. no just emphasizing on like men will have sex with. Yeah, I, I gathered. It's just that was disgusting. There, there are better ways to emphasize that. That's gross. I'll just, please. I'll just emphasizing. No, no. Gross. Yeah, I know. Just never say that again, please. W please. Okay, I won't. I won't say that again. I won't thank, say that again. You. Yeah, but um, what I'm trying to say is, men would literally have sex with anyone. And women having a high body count is not respectable. The reason for that is it's not it's not it's not hard to do, you know? In the real world, anything that's hard to do is respected, and if it's not hard to do, it's not respected. So a woman with a high body count on top of that, if we're do talking about disrespect people for taking the bus? For taking the bus, no. Do you disrespect people for driving? Uh no. Do you disrespect people for using a shopping cart when they use it when they go buy groceries instead of just carrying all the shit in their arms? Uh, no. Should we disrespect people for using a wheelchair instead of crawling across the floor? I don't understand your point, the point you're trying to make. You just said that when things are easy, we shame them. And when things are hard, we don't. When Why things are harder to things achieve, that make it easy for you. No, but when things are harder to achieve, it's more respected. Let me say it like that. So men having a man with a hundred body count compared to a woman with a hundred body count is not the same. No, yeah, but why would that translate to us shaming the opposite? Like if I make something, because I'm an art major, let's say, for example, I make something um, just completely from scratch with polymer clay, but yeah. or I use a mold to help me make that thing. I'm not going to be shamed for using the mold to make my work more efficient, but some people might respect my yeah. craftsmanship for doing it completely from scratch. I'm not going to get shamed for doing it the easier way, though. But you'd get shamed because women in general, they're like the wall and men is like the bold, like the bulldozer. As the more time the bulldozer keep hitting the wall, the more time she, you know, 
bi- biologically she becomes like more like I don't want to be disrespectful like loose like her lips becomes like you know that's that's not scientifically like you heard the, you heard the lock in the key like analogy right yeah and it's terrible oh you don't like the analogy or? I just don't think it's a good analogy so if a woman has sex with a hundred guys and a woman has sex with max three guys you don't think the woman that had sex with a hundred guys is least pleasurable or no because no? having sex with multiple partners doesn't loosen your vagina it does because each guy has different measurements not. with their penises so every time a penis goes into a vagina it tears her no. wall like are you familiar with the female walls you know what a wall sir that this is not true like do you want me to pull this this has been debunked for for decades this is not so true you never seen pictures with girls with their like like with the salami pussy or whatever that's first of all wow what ew secondly that's not because of how much sex they have there are multiple kinds of vaginas some people are just born with longer labias you could be a virgin and have a vagina that looks like that no no there's no woman with yes you can yes are you sure you want to take a look on google images it'll probably scare you well no it wouldn't because i don't think that people having different genitalia is scary i think that's just a part of life but the reason that it's that genitalia is because of the fornication. That is that she not accurate. There are different kinds. <laughs> are you of really suggesting to me a girl with like two hundred body count, her 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 labia or her vagina is going to look the same as a as a virgin? That's like that's like ridiculous. It, it very well could, yes. So when every time she's getting penetrated by a guy, you don't think anything happens no. to her? The vagina is a muscle. It relaxes when she's horny, and then when she's not horny anymore, it contracts. Okay has nothing to do with how much sexual intercourse you have because the in, in that case you would say if a woman is having sex with one person her entire life but that person um has a big dick then it would loosen her up forever that's like, not like, true i was going back like to the boulders in the wall analogy every time she has sex every time that wall keeps breaking right so no. it makes that's the stigma around a woman Sir, with a high body count. that is not factually correct that is not true. So would you wear your, your body count on your forehead? I mean, sure. No, I'm, be honest. Really you ca- have to be honest. I'm being a, I'm being honest. My body count is eleven. I don't I don't care. Oh, so yours is not as high as like some some American girls. That's not I, like, okay. But I'm saying like it's 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 shameful. Thank like, you for the ten dollars page. My brain hurts. Jesus fucking Christ. Th- thank you, Paige. Lord, have fucking mercy. Oh, my God. That's a, that's a lot of people in the request. God damn. God damn. Also, follow me if you welcome me. Moving on. Hi, Petwig. It hurts so much. Yeah, you're telling me. Hello, that hurt. I, I'm in pain. Thank you for the heart me. Hello? Hello. Hi, how old are you? I am 36. Okay. Do you think body count should matter for women, but not for men? Well, I think like it's just promiscuity for both men and women. It's not like the best thing. Okay, you don't disagree. Um, um oh, I don't think it's the best thing, and like I can, Equal, I can equally though, why, but I, equally, but equally though. Sorry, could you repeat that? Equally. Yes, equally. Scrum deli yum yum purper. I'm sorry. I got we got to get the ball rolling, bestie. I'm sorry. Yeah. Also, sorry. I have good news, but also bad news. Okay, I want the bad news first. They're the same news. The fuck? I... I'll tell them when the live's ending soon. Okay. Maybe. Hello, um, light skin one hundred and one. What's up? Ha- <laughs> How old are you? I'm 32. Okay. Do you think body count should matter for women, but not for men? Yes, it should. Why? Why? The reason the reason is it's simply it's simply because a woman's body count it, it, it gives a it gives a good identification of her personality. Where it's like it's has she, her past if she's been wait, 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 one, one second. I, I don't mean to cut you off, but I just got a a violation for hate speech. So um. <clears throat> this live is for educational purposes only. 
Harassment or bullying of any kind will not be tolerated. Continue. I'm about to get an education. <laughs> yeah, so body count, body count for women does matter because, like, like the guy said the previous should it, it sh- should it, it doesn't it should does matter. should because should. All right, should all right, I'm gonna say should. Thank you. Can I finish? All right. So a body count does should matter because it gives a man an indication of whether the woman has been promiscuous in the past and the past is that not the future. Man? No, because women always want women most women want a man that is more experienced taller stronger no every uh, are you bugging where, where did you get this from? so this is common sense most women you want a man that's common shorter sense than ain't you. common all right so let me finish my complete thought please all right so women are are it, it's it's if i'm so in order for a man so you, you're kind of struggling with a complete thought because you keep interrupting me let me finish if when a man, a man, you want a man to be able, in order for a man to to be able to communicate with a woman, to have charisma, to have all these, the money and everything like that, he had he has to have all these different variables in order to even have sex. For a no, woman to have, let me I want finish. my man to be submissive. I want to be able to tie my man up. So you, so you're gonna be. I want, I want to, I want to choke. I want to choke. I want to choke my man. I want my man to do a body count. I want my man to whimper. But it's a body count. My girlfriend. Body count. Women, 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 women. women, women My girlfriend met me. It's been like this since the beginning of time. My girlfriend met me. There's a reason why, even in the Bible, it's it's been shown. Oh, don't bring up the Bible. Don't bring up the Bible. That's a piece of shit book. Fuck up. It's did I, did, did I disrespect slavery. you, bro? Why are you disrespecting me? Don't disrespect me, bro. You disrespect me, me by bringing up the Bible. <laughs> That's your opinion, bro. The end no, of the day, the end of the day this fact. is crazy that it's even a conversation. If a woman wants to go out there and have as many body counts, she can't expect certain things in return. Like, I don't know, marriage. Because no man is going to marry what? a woman with a high body count. For the simple I fact would. that it shows that she was with you because you're crazy and you're a simp. The end of you're the day, crazy. You believe in a magical fairy, dude. I don't believe in no fucking fairy. What are you talking about? You believe in a girl? So, I'm talking to her right now, all right? Shut up, Patrick. No, no, you just you're, replied. Your, your oh, name is, your oh, name is fucking oh, Patrick. Bro. Oh, oh, hell nah. What, what we're not about to do is disrespect my co-hosts. Whether you like it or not, that's my friend. If you don't fuck with him, that's okay. You're entitled to your opinion, but you can also get the fuck off of my live. Okay. Yes, my name is Patrick. You got something wrong with the name Patrick? What, you hate Irish people? Me too, but damn. Not me too. So when I unmute you, don't tell him to shut the fuck up. That is, that, that's my person. I, I care about him. Don't talk to him like that. She keeps me in her purse. <laughs> I'm like a chihuahua. Shut the fuck you know, up. legally blonde, the little, the little I hate you so dog. much. I hate you with such passion. All right, so let me ask you a question. So, why do you feel like body count does not matter for a woman? Why do I'm you saying feel like I'm not woman, saying it doesn't. I'm saying it shouldn't. That's why, why I made that distinction. Why do you feel like it shouldn't matter for women? Like, if a woman has a hundred bodies and a man has a hundred bodies, why do you feel like it's equal? I feel like it's because equal because no the way, harm. yeah, that there's no like distinction between men and women that is so significant you, in this conversation that would make it necessary for it to matter more for one or the other. So I also think like, the stigma causes harm. No, it doesn't. But do it, you? It feel actively like, does. But but so okay. So would you let your would you let your son marry a woman who has a hundred bodies on her wedding yes. on his wedding I, day? I ain't having a son, so, but yes, I would. So yes. So you don't care that the fact that she, even though she was promiscuous in the past, okay. she might have a promiscuous future, and that he might not don't even, he won't even know if that's his, that's his child, because he won't even know if she was having shit? sex with so many different men. Do you want? Well, do Patrick, you know why I don't Patrick, give that don't is the reason. Don't that over-talk is the main that. reason why. That is the main reason why men are hardwired to look for women with less body count. Hardwired. Yes, we the are fuck? hardwired. Yes, we are Damn, hardwired. What are we terminators? That's that's what I'm saying. Hard, hard no, it's, it's wired. What do you mean by bro. that? In biology. I must have missed that class. Then biology. I must, must have missed that class. So I'm asking you a question. So would you let your son? I already said yes. Have no. a chance. So you would. Oh, you yes. Wouldn't... Yes. That's bad. That's bad. Why? W argument. Why? So, yes. So what the kid was trying to explain before, 
was it was the he child. Gave, he gave he gave bad examples. So for women, sex is easier to obtain, and women hold the Ooh. game to sex. And for men, it's a little bit more difficult to obtain sex. So that's why it's not respected when a woman has a high body count because it's easier to attain. If you were born with a million dollars, is it more respected like to be born? Yes. Is it more respected to be born with a million dollars or do you respect the man that earned his way to make that million dollars? Which one is more respected? Typically, the person who earned the money is more respected. But are you going to disrespect? Why. Are you going to... You're you're explaining to me why the stigma exists. I don't need that explanation. I'm Ooh. asking why the stigma should stay that way. But also, because are you going to disrespect the person who had who just has the million dollars? Well, no, you don't. I'm not saying to disrespect the person with a high body count. I'm just saying that's you know exactly why. what you're saying. That's what you no, just said, my I'm guy. Doing, shut up. What I'm saying is that no, who it's the fuck are you talking to? Is, is not respected. We already covered this. Respect him or leave. I'm saying it's not respected. I don't care what you're saying. Tell him to shut up one more time and you're done. <laughs> I already told you this. So like I'm saying, it's not respected. Do you understand, not, yes or no? It's not respected. Do you understand, yes or no? I heard you. Okay, great. Yes or no. So it's not respected. And that's why it's not respected. I don't respected. need you to why explain should? to me why it's not respected. I'm asking you why it shouldn't be. Or it's rather, the same, but it's the why, same why should why it be it respected be or respected. not respected? It's the same reason why it's not respected. It's the same. It's the same question you're asking me. It's not respected. Is the same reason why it's not. It's not respected. Is the same reason why it shouldn't be respected. Because if a, and if, a woman, is... if a woman is, is out there being a, is a being a three hundred four, why would a man want to be with that woman? And it's not saying that she. It's not, it's not her. Ew. It's not. I can't say the other word. So at the end of the day, why would a man, why would that man want to be with that woman? It's just a turn. I don't think body it's count should matter in, in reference to. Yeah, I, I'm understanding that. I'm saying that the fact that it's a turn off is dumb. Unless you're going to apply the same dumb? logic to men, because otherwise you're being a hypocrite. But you, can't, you can't compare. The, you cannot use the same logic to I men. I can. I very men, well can. You cannot. You cannot. We're well not can. equal. We're not yes, the same. Can. It's a different world. We're complete We're not opposites. equal. Men We're and not women complete are, opposites. Men and women are attracted to opposites. That's why. Hold on. What are you talking you about? You have to be the opposite. Go back women, a bit. No, you go don't. Back a bit. So you telling me men and women are looking for the same thing in each other? Some of them the majority, are. Majority, yes. Some of them are, but that's a, that's a majority. Back? That's a majority. I'm talking about most. Okay. General. Do you have a source that says most women are looking for the this opposite is a, this of is them? Common, this is common knowledge. Something this being is not, common knowledge or common sense things. doesn't make it true. How does it What's not make it true? Whole, it was common skin. sense that women were supposed to be property, or that slaves were supposed that's to be treated like far. shit. That's not going too far. That's not going too far. You're talking about common sense. Well, so common not, sense is just something you. that's widely believed by the majority of people. It's been widely believed by the majority of people a lot of things, and those things were bad. So saying that something is common sense is not justification for anything. So when you look when you look at a man, are you looking for him to wear lipstick? Are you sure. looking for him to be feminine? Yes, actually. Are you bi are you bisexual? I'm pan. What the hell does that mean? It's a subsection of bisexual. So that's why it's hard to have a conversation with you because you look for both genders. So it's not really like you look. But a man, for a man wearing and lipstick and doesn't make him less of a man. He's just a man who yes. wears lipstick. What I'm trying to say is that it's a feminine trait. Women are yeah, usually no. looking for a man with feminine traits. Usually, women are looking for a man with a masculine trait. Do you? I have to prove that to you too. It's like we are looking for awesome. the opposites of each other. That's why we look look through each also, other. we look through different worlds we have different can perspectives I backpedal to something everything. you said that was weird sure and that's common i mean there sense. were so many things that were weird but go, go ahead well, you're saying, was you're like pain, really that's disgusting. Kind of weird. no shh, shh. no it's not it's completely pain. normal and natural it's, like it's, it's normal and natural i already explained to you what pan means. pan means i i'm attracted to people regardless of gender it's just a more specific version of bi yeah. So at the end okay. of the day, it's so hard to have a conversation about that because it's like no, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay. Anyways, light skin. I want to say something that you know disgusted me with what you said. You said men and women aren't equal. Yeah. I Actually, you know men, what? We men, should. Men, 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 men Thank you for the ten dollars on PayPal. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. That's just.
that was disgusting. You know what? It's not that, cool. Yeah, that that was fucking gross. Um, thank you, by the way, to the person like to the people like two months ago who suggested I implement this rule. W, you guys, love you yeah. all very much, very passionately. Well, look, just I'll quickly say. Well, actually, after this guy, I'll say, "Oh, this guy's going to be religious." I'm calling it. Oh no! Hello. Hello. Thank you for the heart puffs. Hi, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 18. Where you were you born? Uh, I'm born in the Netherlands. What, what year? Were... Oh. Okay. Well, I'll bye. Say it now. Uh, well, good news, bad news. I've been accepted into a further step for the Australian military. So I'm going for a psyche you're going, battle and a you're, you're and going a, to the military. Mostly because the job I want to do in life, you have to go through the military. You have to uh, to get the qualifications. Get it fixed up. What is DMV? Close it up. And say, no. Uh, you got to go yeah, to the Secretary of State to so have can, you a new title. Okay. Can we can hear you? Can, can. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I uh. I, I, I thought uh, the last person was going to die a lot more with you. Um, I, I, I thank you for having me come back up because there was something that did cross my mind about uh, why there is such a, uh, a profound difference between the two. I don't want to necessarily call it a double standard. I think it's more of a social commentary for Western society. Usually men with higher body counts are not necessarily men that are sleeping around with any one indiscriminately. Um, I, I've had a, a very successful pro professional life, so I have, a, I think I have a very different perspective. Um, I can say that a lot of women in general assume that I have this extremely high body count based on my success in life because they're looking at my ability to choose and have access and it, it's just different. So they're, I, I used to get offended by it because I really don't have a high body count, but I knew what they were saying was you're more desirable, so more women are drawn to you, so you have your pick. So they're thinking, okay, he's got this, even if he has a higher body count. But the issue that I had was they didn't care. Let's say hypothetically it was true. They still didn't care, and that's the difference. Women care less when a man has a higher body count because they're still looking at the access of that man in the context of relationship, because I know that wasn't a part of your topic, wasn't wasn't this leading to relationship, it was more so pleasure. So pleasure, I think it's equal footing. If a man's just going out there looking for pleasure, that's the, the and that's the context of it, it's almost framed exactly the same. Because if a woman's just looking for pleasure, then it's different. But I do think what what where it becomes damaging or affects a woman differently on a social Western social level is if a relationship is the goal. It, it dis disenfranchises her on a social level by build building this narrative of body count doesn't matter, but yet it does in the context of if you're looking for one exclusive person, then it, it ultimately does because you're looking for that one person to spend the rest of your life with. So that's where it shifts. And I think that's where some of the men were speaking. Cause I think the one gentleman was not from America. I don't want to assume that because he, he did have an accent. I thought it was from Africa, but I, again, I don't want to assume. And then I started thinking, okay, he's in, in, in he's inter, he's injecting into the conversation, um, ideals from a different culture, different society in a different country. But even European men, all my life as a man, it, I, I said, when I first came out, I'm 50. So I, when men have conversations, I've, I've talked to many businessmen and just many men in general from Europe who say, I'll, I'll, I'll mess with American women, I'll sleep with her, and American women are good for fun, but not for marriage. And I'm not personally saying this, so I don't mean to offend anyone in the comment section or you as a host. I'm not saying this is how, what I fundamentally believe. I'm saying this is what I was told. And they say, well, if I want to find a good wholesome, you know, woman with, uh, character and moral standard i'll Ken. marry a woman from my co country or Ken. elsewhere yes can i say something real quick sure, yeah. sure uh first of all i just want to say i'm extremely fucking lost i have i'm really good with tracking arguments most of the time 
I, I feel like this is just word salad at this point. Secondly, no, no, what I was saying was to go. Se- so I'm not done. But secondly, I gotta say, unfortunately, Sam, I do have to go. I have to cook dinner for my significant other, so unfortunately, oh. I do have to go. Okay, go chef it up. I hope y'all enjoy it. Bye bye. I'll see you bye next bye. time. All right. Well, again, this is not word salad, so I'll be more concise and more specific. What I'm saying is, when a man is successful in life, and a woman assumes he has, it doesn't have to be true but assumes that he has a high body count, it doesn't deter her because she's still thinking that somehow he is, it's different. Even in women's eyes, if they assume, a, let's say if, I've had women assume I had a hundred body count okay. and they still didn't care. Okay. They didn't care. But socially, if, a, if okay. I ask, okay. yes, yes. The problem with this argument is again, this is not answering why it should matter. You're explaining to me why it does. I already know why it does. I'm saying that this stigma is dumb and that it shouldn't exist. Your job is to justify why it should remain this way. And that's that's what I'm. That's precisely where I'm going with this. It should because if the because ultimately this conversation for many women ends up being, I'm older. I'm thirty. I have a. Uh, career, I'm successful, I'm where I want to be in life. Now I'm looking for a relationship. Because usually a person goes from saying this when they're just looking for fun, then the context shifts in life to I'm looking for a life partner or a marriage. See, because if it's just going to be about sex and it doesn't go any further than that, it's neck and neck, men and women. Because most guys that I know that say this, they never get married because it's never the goal. It's never a conversation. They don't want to get married. They don't want to have kids. They don't, they just want to do this until they're old and great and then fall into a hole in the ground. They're never looking at the context of potentially having a family. This is my personal uh, observation. I'm not saying it's the gospel truth. I'm just saying this is what I've seen with guys that say this very sense. It should matter. It doesn't matter. Well, body count, it doesn't matter. If, if I hit a thousand, it doesn't matter. Because they're, they're, the context of it is they're never looking for a relation. Many women that say this, it's temporary. Because at some point, they stop saying it and they start looking for a relationship or a life partner or a marriage. So in that context, that's why you're getting so much pushback from many men. Because if you notice, even in the, in the language that they're using to describe it, they're talking in relationship terms. Because it's like they're already overstepping this, the, the intimacy and the fun part. And they're already looking at there are their minds are already subconsciously talking about potential wife, marriage, future, because they know ultimately most women don't stick with this narrative for the rest of their lives. They just don't. And most women don't say this for, is, is, is this is not their journey. They're not going to say this for the rest of their life. Sir, sir, I, I, I don't. You're not. You're not answering this question. This I, question is not being answered. I'm saying that's why it should matter. So you're saying it should matter because it does? No, it should matter because, because ultimately when a woman says, I want to get married now, that the consequence of it evolving for a woman is different than for a man. Okay. That's Ken? why it should matter. Ken? Ken. When I use the word matter, I am referencing the stigma that women face, that men either don't face or face on a much smaller scale. You're saying that this stigma for body count should matter because when they are seeking a relationship, it does matter to men. So your argument boils down to it should matter because to men, it does matter. Which and ultimately when you're argument. talking about relationship, the, what the matter, what the man thinks holds value in the relationship. Right. That's, I'm saying why so it is it circular, good for a man to think that? Why is a man thinking that good? Because men look at women in value terms. Why is that good? Uh, because a man looks at women in value terms, whether he's so high good, value. Because a man says it's good? Because when a man is looking for a partner, he's looking for a person that he deems valuable to himself. So it becomes a conversation between the two of them. And he's evaluating that woman's value to him. 
Now, I'm not talking about society. I'm not talking about Western Hemisphere. I'm just saying a man in general. He's evaluating her, her value, not just her beauty, not her intelligence. He's factoring everything about her as far as value. But he's also equating her sexual promiscuity as part of the value of the equation. I'm going to lose it. Because part of sexuality is your decision making. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking lose it. And if it comes off as indiscriminate, it comes off as a person being irrational. It can be assumed that. I'm not saying it is, but it can be. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Because if a guy tells you right now, I've been with a hundred women. Do you think that he's rational, or do you think he might be irrational? Junior, no, I'm not okay. Actually, I'm not okay. I'm, I'm actually losing my marbles. My marbles are slowly rolling out of my ears there's a little hole but that's, that's just the context that i have yeah. i mean like i said this hasn't existed oh my for god hundreds of hundreds oh my god years. patrick patrick thank you for the ten dollars patrick thank you thank you for the ten fucking dollars Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to the next guest. Oh, oh my God. Okay. That was a lot. Hello? Hey, good morning. Well, it's morning Hi. for me. I'm in the UK. Good morning. Um, how old are you? Um, I'm 40 years old. Okay. Do you think body count should matter for women, but not for men? <laughs> it only matters if it comes back into the relationship and cause an issue in the relationship. Otherwise, my past is my past. Uh, my partner's past, also his past. He never cared about mine. I never cared about his. What matters is the current relationship that we are in. Um, we are together for 14 years. We have two children. At the moment we decided that we are together. That's when my past became a past for him and his past became his past for me. That's beautiful. It's not computer science. I mean, my value is not, not my kitty, you know? Like, <laughs> let them know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm listening down. to this young man who probably never been in a relationship longer than six months. And I'm listening Damn. to these older gentlemen who are probably been over how many so called long relationships, but they are not in one. So, your value system doesn't work. Does it? Damn. The roast is crazy work. <laughs> she said, y'all single and mad and what? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, my man never caught himself alpha, but because my father is an alpha male and my parents are together for, for 50 years this year. Wow. I was looking for a man, quality wise, who's just like my father. He never had to prove that he's an alpha male, a traditional male, and all this man who is looking for a traditional woman, bring me the traditional man. Because Period. don't expect me to be a traditional woman when you are not bringing traditional values. You know what? Thank you for coming up. You did in fact eat down. I am only looking for ops, but you ate the table, the plate, the meal on the plate, <laughs> the cutlery I'm just, accompanying I'm just talking the from meal experience, you know, because the gentleman who was talking before me and he was talking. <laughs> he, oh my he god. He was definitely talking. He was he was talking and he was saying his piece, that's his opinion, that's the values he lives by. Mm -hmm. And I'm not knocking other people's values, but when those values are trying to bleed into my existence, I'm not with it. Precisely. 
And you I know, like agree. what I do in my, what I was doing in my twenties was nothing to do with my partner, who's my partner now, because he didn't even know me when I was exactly. in my twenties. Like, wh what is what is it that I do with someone when I'm not even with you? I don't know that you are existing. How is my? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just mad because when you get wait, into wait, a relationship, Ava, Ava yeah. don't sorry. give the men the energy. You've already consumed the entire meal. All right. You got to leave some <laughs> crumbs for the rest of the man to lick depressingly off the plate. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning, my love. Thank you for coming up. Thank you for having me. Of bye. course, it was my pleasure. Bye bye. All right, let's bring up this one dude who seems to be very upset. Hi, how old are you? 21. What year were you born? 2003. Okay. Do you think body count should matter more for women but not for men? Yes. I just want to emphasize the word should. Why is yeah. that? Because the... <sighs> The best way to explain it is that if you have two people, A and B, and one person has a very rich and wealthy family that owns a business, and they get given a job within that business at the age of, let's say, 16 or 18, compared to person B, who goes through college, university, you know, studies, whilst working on the side, and then gets a job at this company, an entry-level position, it's more of an accomplishment to do that and go through the process than it is to be given it. And so because it takes longer and it's more effort and it takes more time for a man to build his body count, that's why a woman's matters more. Because a woman can, if she wants to, speak to a man that's in her DMs or a man on the streets and have relations with him if she so wishes to. But the ability is not there for a man to do so. So the crazy thing about this response is that it doesn't answer the question. Well, I'm saying that's why it should matter more. Because it's so easier. So it should matter because it does. Is, is something your that's easily accessible, right, is not as respected as something that is hard to come by. And so that's why it should matter more. Because I'm not you saying that it needs to be as respected. More. If you think that it's like more impressive, which is weird, but if you think it's more impressive that a man can have sex with a lot of women, um, that's fine. I'm stimming y'all. I'm sorry. I, I'm very hyperactive whenever I take my meds. I ignore me. Um, I'm doing a very abridged version of some kind of some some kind of little jig. Just anyway, um, you don't have to think that a woman fucking people is impressive, but why does that correlate with shaming them? Because you don't shame people for being rich without working for it. You would just be like, the people who do work for it, that's cool. Because a man's future matters and a woman's past matters. Men don't care about the future of a woman, but women care about the future of a man. Yeah, I'm saying, why should this be the case? Because that's the way society views everything. And that's right, the way again, that we, we as people so in society is, drive this it narrative. It should be this way because it is. Because we as people drive that narrative until we change it, we can Why complain. Why is that narrative good? I never said it was good. I just that's said that the that's the narrative. I didn't say it was, it was a good one. That is the question that I'm asking you. I'm asking you why this is good. I am not asking you if it is. I'm asking you why it is good, which is why I emphasize the word should when you came up here and why people in the comments were telling you to stop using the word does, sir. The word should and does have the They're same meaning. Not the, no, they explicitly do not. They explicitly do not have the same meaning. That is the point. Does is present tense. Should is an ought claim, right? That means that it should continue to be that way. That is future tense. 
they are not the same word. But I don't disagree with it being a should, a future. So then why the fuck? You, you know, you know what? Why what? You know, you, you know so, so That's then, what? so why did you keep talking when I said should at the beginning of this conversation? Because I agree it should matter more for women, but not for men. That's not what sh No, but I've given an explanation as to why it does matter. And the that's train the same, tracks but that's the same are explanation looking for why so sexually attractive right now. The, the reason why it's story on, the same of reason this as to why it should. Are looking so tantalizing right here in this moment. You know what's looking really hot right now? Oncoming traffic. Oncoming traffic is looking I mean, really you, appealing. I'm really into that, but that I, I love that for you. I, I mean, I you do. You. I mean, you know, women's rights and everything. You have the right to do what you want. Thanks. I will. But Thank you. the reason that game for does matter is the same reason it should matter. I just asked you if that's the case, mm -hmm. and you said no. No, you said good. I you said, said so you're saying it does, you're saying it should matter because it does, and you said no. You said no. no. I'm saying it should matter. You explicitly said no. I'm saying That's it should exactly matter. That's exactly what I just, matter. goodbye, goodbye. Thank you for it the $10. I can't, I can't do it. 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 I'm not being gaslit on my own life. No, no, no. Thank you for the $10, Red. Thank you. I, I, I just, I. The cognitive dissonance. The cognitive dissonance. I I can't I can't do it. I no. 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 Bro. Hi. How old Hello. are you? Twenty four. Are you sure? Yeah. Why did you Say it like a question. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Do you think body count should, should, should yeah. Yeah, matter should. for women, but not for men? Why? It should. It, it should matter for women more than men. Why? Yeah. Because uh, when you when you sleep around a lot, you tend to get some diseases and so on. This happens and for men and women, bestie. Yeah, I'm saying that you get diseases uh, and you carry the man's DNA for a week. But if you get pregnant, you probably carry it for even longer. Um, not only that, you lose the weight, you lose, you get insensitive, you, you, you can't bond well with people. That's, I mean, of those things are not do, true. Do you have a boyfriend? I have two. You have two. Yeah. So you can't bond with one. You're a good example. So, uh, well, I don't want to just bond with one. I want to bond well, with what's two. Your, what's them. your body count? 11. Your body count is 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you seem to kind of hate men. So, I mean, I understand that after 11 men, where you failed. Well, when did I say I hate men? You do kind of hate men. According to what? The way you talk to them. Well, when they can't read properly, it's pretty annoying. What woman or man, if, if you do can't you read, men? that's kind of infuriating. Do you love men? Not all of them. Some of them. What do you love, alpha men? If you call yourself an alpha man, no, I actually would like to walk. I didn't call direction. myself alpha. Do you love alpha men? Alpha man implies that you self ID as a, as an alpha. No. Do you like someone who leads? No. You don't like someone who leads. No. Well, how do you want your relationship then? I want it to be fifty fifty. You want to be fit? You you're gonna pay for when you go to a yes. restaurant. You're gonna pay fifty fifty. I'd I'd like to pay for a date, and then I'd like for the man have to pay for the date. Have you done that? Have you done that in your previous yeah. relationships? 
I've done it in my current relationships. I love paying for meals. Nice. I mean, it would be right, very cool to have a side chick like you. Interesting. That's yeah. What 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 an odd thing to say. Yeah, because you got eleven body count. I mean, who, you who, you, you're gonna make someone. Nobody owns you. It's just their turn, right? Is that how it is? I don't want to be owned. That own? You, you know. So when you have a person, child, you don't right? own the child. No. The child is not yours. I don't. I don't own. No. No. They're my child, as in like they have. They, we share DNA. I don't own my child. If you don't They're own him, own. I can just take him from you, right? They are your no. Your child because is it's not, not property. Yours. It's not they, yours. I can take it, right? They biologically they are mine. Yeah, but you still don't but, own. But I do not own them. They have their. You own, don't own them. They have their own personhood and humanity. So you got eleven body, but you know what happens when you sleep around and out? Your PhD value changes down there. My PhD value. Yeah. My PhD value. The pH value. My my pH value. Yeah. Value. Yes, the pH changes. I just want to sit with that for a moment. What do you think about the pH value changes? You get it gets acid. It's, it gets acidic. And what happens when it gets acidic? Sir, could could you just could you just repeat that one more time? What happens when you when the when it gets acidic? <laughs> Not that. What 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 was it called? One more time. pH. pH what? The pH value. What do you mean? <laughs> What? <laughs> Nothing. It is pH value. No, it's not. Well, pH balance is the same. pH value, it's pH balance. Same. It's literally the same. You get what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. pH level is the same. That's what I wanted to say. Okay. Okay. So what what happens when the pH level changes? Sometimes uh, it can cause discomfort. And what else? Like itchiness, redness, discharge. Does 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 a weird odor come out or what? No. Sometimes, not necessarily. No. So so, do you think a man wants to let uh, you know have a woman that has been around with a lot of men, and then she has a she has a uh, V that smells. Well, being with a lot of men wouldn't necessarily mean that your V would smell if you use it, protection. It a, yes, and also, the, the, the pH level changes, though. Well, yeah, but pH level changes when women do basically anything. Like, like what? Your, your diet can affect your pH level. How hydrated you are can affect your pH level. That's not going to change that much. That you, yeah, it can, actually. No, not that much. Yeah. It, it you can have a good can. diet. You can have all that. But if you have a multiple men, it's going to change. Well, no, it not. It doesn't even mean that your diet is necessarily good. So, or so bad. you know why Certain it, it foods, also counts. Well, it okay, counts so because just, you got ele you have this, eleven body count. Are we just gonna move on count. from this point? Are, are we just gonna move on from this point? Like we don't want to talk about this no more. What? Like that? There are so many things that can affect your pH. The okay, fabric but of your underwear can affect your pH. It's not gonna affect that much. It 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 can. Depending Not that it can, but if is. you get if you get multiple men, it's gonna affect for a longer term. That's not necessarily true. Yes. Do you have a source for this? Source, yeah. Can I have it? Source, my source is me, because when I've been with girls with you higher pH body count, balance, they PhD. tend to smell down there. You you just called pH balance PHD value. Why the fuck should I trust your opinion? It's the what, same what value level, whatever. It's literally the same, dude. Bro, you said PHD value. Why I said should pH I trust value. you? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You said I said P PH you value. You said P H D value four times. Yeah, that in a was row. the first thing I said because and I misspoke. So no, I didn't say that four times. I said it one time. No, you didn't. 
No, you didn't. I said pH value you, one time, and then I changed four, to pH you value. You said it four times, and then you changed it to pH value. No, I said it one time, it then I changed it to pH balance after that. But it changes, yes or no? It can, yes. Okay. Okay. This is true of a bunch of things. So that's one reason. That's not, that's not a good reason. It is a good, but there's more reasons. For example, you, you, you have, you said you have 11, your body count is 11. Uh, uh, how many of them are a relationship? Like half? Like s s five of them, I'd say. Okay. So if five of them are relationship, I mean, come on, 11, you couldn't do it with, you couldn't, ha ha you couldn't ha ha keep five men, five to six men. I broke up with all of them. You broke up with all of them. I'm, I'm sure one of them broke up with you, though. But let's no, say you broke up with all of I've them. Never you been you can't. Up with. The only person that's ever broken up with me is a woman. Yeah, you can't seem to bond well. You know, it's been five men. I mean, it's going to be six. It's going to be seven. It's going to be eight. Well, no, I mean, I'm, in, come I'm in a relationship on. right now. Right. Yeah, that's you're going to break up again. I mean, it's the same cycle over and over. Well, no. I, I'm in love with these people. I love them. That's very what much. you. That's you would say the same thing for for uh, body counts ago, three body counts ago. Come on. Well, no. If I'm just having sex with someone and I if don't a woman want has less body count, them, she's bad at bonding. And there's actually re re uh, I, scientific papers on this. The research, because you told me you had a source before. And you didn't this is common it. sense, and there's scientific you just said uh, papers okay, on this. Can I, can that I if you've been with more people. Like, you have, you have less less like, way have, of bond. Have the si it's have like the it's like if I give you if sir, you get chocolate I'd cake like to, every I'm, day, I, sir, sir, right? Hold I, on. I would love I would love the science. If you get chocolate cake every oh, day, you're not going to appreciate the. the thank, thank you for the ten dollars, Lance. Very much. Ten dollars for fuck this fucking loser. I completely agree. Thank you, Lance. Thank you. All right, I will do. I know I keep saying this. I will have one more guest, and then I will end the live. Hello. Hello. Hi. How old are you? I'm 23. Okay. Do you think body count should matter more for women, but not for men? I do. I do. Um, but that? only in certain circumstances. Okay, elaborate. And I will actually bring up evidence as well, because I know you've been asking for people to cite sources, etc. Um, I don't have the you. sources at hand, um, but as I go through my points, I'll also um, find the sources when you're, re when you're rebutting my points. Um, so, I think that body count should, with the keyword being should, matter more for women um because women experience higher levels of neuroticism um the higher the body count is they ex experience poorer life outcomes relative to their lower body count um comparisons and again this isn't across the board i'm sure that you know you've mentioned yourself that um you have a very good life and in my opinion, I don't actually. Well, so what, what age are you again? I'm twenty. Twenty. Okay. I don't necessarily think eleven's the highest body count ever. I don't. For I me, mean, I'm from England, so I, yeah, I don't know. For me, anything over thirty is probably in the higher realms. Oh, yeah, I don't but, care about body count as a number, which is why, like, if someone asks me, I, I'll just say it because I, I genuinely could not care less. Like, okay, fine, but I do, I do hold that view. Um, so. On average, yeah, women that experience um, a high body count tend to have those issues like higher neuroticism, poorer life outcomes, um, more likely to have uh, uh, further com comorbidities when it comes to mental health issues. So they could experience bipolar depression, all of that good stuff. Um, so okay. I think can, can I even have the source for, women, for this? Yeah, and like I said, I, that's what I said. I'll, I'll find the sources as you uh, make your points. Uh, but one last point I just wanted to make. Um, essentially, um, I think it's important for women's own kind of mental health that they preserve that because especially with the advent of social media, um, if they are, you know, reminded of their past, etc., like it's going to have serious real life consequences. And yeah, you said in your, your personal experience 
that it doesn't bother you, but not everyone's hardwired the same way you are. Again, I'm just talking about averages. So I will now find my sources and I'll come back. Yay! Do <laughs> Sorry, in the meantime, do you have any points that you'd like to dispute or? Oh, well, I don't think that, um, like having a high body count was associated with, um, like depression or anxiety. And if that is the case, I, I feel like the reasoning would be because of the stigma associated with having a high body count. Um, but since I don't have the source, I cannot say whether or not that is accurate. Oh, does she? Are you trying to go to sleep? Oh, she has her headphones on. She can't hear. Um, let me see how to fill the time. Uh, uh, what do you call a really horny, uh, oatmeal pastry? An oatmeal cream pie. Okay, I'm back. It's okay, I'll see um, myself out. There is a study from 2010. Um, I would like to put it in the chat, but I'm not sure. Okay, I've, I've put the names of the authors in the chat. I can't put the full um, source in because it's too long. Well, well um, no, you can just this... tell me the name of the the name of the article or the name oh, of the okay, study, nice. and I can just look it up. But when you leave, I can't hear you, so you're going to have to remember and come back. The social sources of religious decline in early in early Is that adult twenty ten. Yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, I'll I'll still look at it. Fuck it. The social sources of religious decline. Religious decline in early adulthood, and it basically says that um, women that come from religious households who have higher um have higher sexual promiscuity experience poor life outcomes because um of the people around them that are responding to their actions essentially and the key word on should is is also articulated here because um the vast majority of people's families are religious so they we don't live in um, a vacuum one second i got another live. violation for some reason um, okay. This live is for educational purposes only. Harassment or bullying of any kind will not be tolerated. Continue. Okay, so we don't live in a vacuum. So in an ideal world, we could do anything and it wouldn't matter. But unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on which side you take, actions have consequences. So if you do stuff that your family are not necessarily happy with, you can still do that. You're in, totally free to do it, but you aren't necessarily free from the consequences that that may bring from people closest to you. So it could Wait, also. So be this factors like, in religion too. Um, I'm again. I'm not personally religious, but I just see religion as a social construct to kind of keep people together. Um, so again, this is more within the context of families and close friends. So if you if you do something which displeases people closest to you, you're going to be met with um, a lot of you know backlash. Like let's say you were to do something like lie, you would you would f face repercussions for that. Well, yeah, but this isn't stating why those repercussions are good in reference to body count. Like you're just saying that oh, if you do if you do something that the people around you don't approve of then there'll be stigma i already know that and i agree i'm saying why is this particular stigma something that should remain 
yeah and going back to my original point it's because um women that experience higher body counts or, uh, or have higher promiscuity experience more mental health issues poor health outcomes so if you're thinking about the perspective of a parent you'll want you're going to want your child to have the best life possible now yeah ideally so if the evidence suggests that people who engage in this activity um will have poor life, life outcomes wouldn't you try to do your best in a form of shame guidance One in order to One seven six thirteen fourteen. Sorry, I had to sign in with my my college to look at the source. Um, yeah, no worries. But yeah, shame has shown to have incredibly negative effects, especially slut shaming, um, particularly on adolescents, uh, like early substance abuse and anxiety and depression. So fuck no, I would never. So I would also apply that to drug use. So if, for instance, you were. I, I, I could, this is, again, this is an objective, so feel free to review this. But let's say, you know, when I was younger, I, I took part in, you know, drug taking activities and I was shamed for that. In the, in the moment, it hurt. But in the long term, I was glad that I was shamed for that because it stopped me from having, you know, poor laugh, laugh outcomes because of, you know, what drugs can do. Um, and not well, necessarily. Really I'm happy for you, but it's also been shown that shaming people for addiction does the opposite. Like it, it happened to not do that for you, but I think shame combined with practical guidance is is a good is a good um is a good measure, and it depends also what level of shame because you can have you know essentially private shame where you're shamed, you know, by one individual and say I'm really you know they could say I'm really disappointed of you because of X Y Z, and you need to do X Y Z, and I agree that probably public humiliation just in in the, that form of shame isn't conducive to um good change yeah i've never seen a single thing that ever said that shame is good like ever well i think from a psychological perspective you could use the word conditioning because you're conditioning someone to change their behavior in a way that you want and that's what parents do no well shame specifically aims to em embarrass or humiliate Okay, what's the difference between conditioning and, sh and shame? The way that you condition someone doesn't necessarily have to include embarrassment or humiliation. Like, for example, with Pavloving people, um, this is just conditioning someone to associate something with something else in order to get them to do what you want them to do. This doesn't have to involve humiliation, but it can. Whereas shaming and again, I'd also like to say. I'd also like to mention that Pavlov's study um, was conducted on dogs, and that's anth anth and you're uh, at risk of anth anthropomorphism because you can't generalize um, the experience of animals to humans. <clears throat> okay. Well, you so, just ask me the difference. You, you can still yeah, I know, someone. but I'm talking about in in the context of humans because we're specifically talking about the context of humans. Okay. Um, I could say that I want someone to, um, I suppose, I don't know, like not eat cookies out of the cookie jar. Um, every time I find that the cookies in the cookie jar are not eaten, um, I reward them with something. That could condition. Okay, that's positive reinforcement, yeah. But what if you're trying to deter certain behavior? That, that is deterring the behavior. I don't want them to touch the shit in the cookie jar. So I re I positively reinforce when they don't do that. And so they stop. Okay, what about if you never get the chance to positively enforce them? Because they keep doing the negative behavior. Well then, if I shame them, it could harm them. So I wouldn't go for okay, shame. Okay, so them. I'm asking you, how else would you... Um, bring about the positive behavior if your positive reinforcement is never allowed to uh, begin with in the first place if it's really that serious i just remove the thing from the environment okay so now apply that to the context of um let's say um drug taking if you want if you didn't want your um child to uh, take any more drugs how would you how would you implement that without shame I would explain to them the negative ramifications of drugs. 
And okay. if that doesn't work and they end up abusing drugs and there's probably a mental health issue, so I'd take them to a therapist. Okay, and what if the therapist asks for you to... Okay, actually, let's, let's, let's stop on with that. Um, what if nothing changes? What if the therapist uh, adopts a very... Um, I don't know what to say. Um, kind... Um, altru- I asked the word altruistic approach as you do and that it's the same outcome keeps occurring rehab I'm if if I'm not mistaken I, I believe that um, two thirds of people that attend rehab actually um, um, they reoffend don't reoffend um, you, you, you know the word is that true? Relapse. Relapse. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Two thirds of people that attend rehab relapse at some point in their lives. Hmm. Let's see if that's true. Because I don't know if it is. Um, and again, it depends. Uh, I think also, especially... You know, addiction is like a, like like an ongoing thing. Like that, yeah, that I'm is very, a, a battle oh, that yeah. you will face for the rest of your life. Yes, and so, I'm aware, okay. and that's why. And if you if you would let can let let me get to my point. People with addiction typically have um, a lot of comorbidities when it comes to mental health. So they could have ADHD. ADHD um, in the individuals are more likely than um, people with non with with without ADHD to experience addiction because they're very goal driven. They're um, they're dopamine seeking. So my rationale for implementing the shame Wait, i'm sorry i don't mean to cut you off but yeah what part of the document is going to prove your point because it's a 26 page document is there like a particular okay. page i should be looking for or um I, I i i would probably look at the findings that's typically where you could find the, the juicy bits so i'd look at the findings okay um but yeah back to my original point um if so I've, I've lost track now because you you've you threw me off um yeah so back to the point why i would use shame and guidance is because um i believe that people that do or ha- do or have those tendencies to be addic- addicted you're right they do have a lot of mental health issues but what i would do is i would i would curb their drug addiction sex addiction, whatever it would be. And I would actually argue that people that are promiscuous tend to have a sex addiction. I would curb that addiction and replace it with something more positive. So they could be engaged in sports, they could engage in a different activity. Um, because a lot of people, and again, it, it's men and women tend to, that are sex addicts, tend not to have a lot of hobbies, interests, and all that good stuff. Um, and like I said, I think it's especially damaging for women because of the study that I cited that you're looking at right now where they experience poor life life outcomes. I'm not seeing where in the study it would be saying this. Like, let's see. Bear with me one second and I can find it for you myself, but I'll be on mute. Okay. Um, holds one. I mean, I'm I'm gonna keep trying. Also, no, I don't think I'd have any mods on here. That was me, who got rid of that person. What what else is is there someone else who's saying deplorable shit? What's going on? Also, by the way, 
Oh, to the person asking, um, F1 is just like to try and protect the live. I actually don't have a mod application set up. I should probably get on that. If you want to ask to be a mod, go into my Discord server. Thank you guys for all the F1s. You guys are very kind. You'd have to ask in the Discord server, which is linked in my bio. Oh yeah, by the way, guys. Um, my, my Discord server is up. And we talk in there sometimes, and we debate. So yeah. Thank you for the heart me. No, it's not only for debating. Thank you for the cap. Um, it's for debating and also just like general conversation. Um, I'm going to add a, a trauma dumping channel. So if you need to vent, uh, you can do that with consent. Um, I'm back now. I can't find the specific page, um, but it, in the findings and results section, it, it specifically says that women who engage in sexual promiscuous activities tend to experience more depression than their non-promiscuous counterparts. Okay, so I am not seeing that respectfully. Respectfully, um, use, I just use cannot find it. Use I'm control on my, F. I'm on my my iPad. All right, okay. Um, you just find find within page. Okay. It's making me sign up again. I'm gonna be fully honest with you, bestie. I'm tired. Um, I will, however, explore this on my laptop later. I'm in Texas. I'm not home. Okay, this is all I got. Point. I'm sorry. Uh, but um, all I want to say is, um, at least I brought some evidence because the people before and the, the bar I think is the in hell. Was, the guy that was 50 years old, better mind, I'm 23. The guy was 50 years old. He actually just said a word salad. And, you know, we may disagree on some things, but at least I bring evidence and just, I don't just keep repeating the same points with no examples, no sources, no nothing. Um, yeah. yeah I Matter feel of fact, y'all, obviously... if you're in the Discord, I'm going to type the name of this article um, in the general chat and we can all analyze it together um, uh, and see what comes up. But yeah, um, if, you, if you can't look at it right now, you know, good luck. Um, I'm going to get along with my day. It was nice speaking to you regardless. You might disagree, but, you know, I hope you have a good day. Thank you, so, you yeah. too. No bye worries. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. I'm going to drop this in the in the chat um i mean in the in the discord but also i'm gonna end it here i'm also going to be going live with ian at 10 a.m central 11 a.m eastern standard time we're gonna be doing the lesbian topic together Ugh, i love ian i love ian so much very excited um so i will see you all tomorrow morning or i guess this morning um, follow me if you fuck with me and if you enjoy the debates. Um, also, as a last and final hurrah, Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal are in my bio. But regardless, your presence is always appreciated. Thank you all so much for being here. Your kind words mean everything to me. And I will see you all tomorrow. Mwah.